Hello and welcome to the 18th Destiny Community Podcast brought to you by Blue Microphones and we have a stacked lineup. There are a lot of little images if you're watching the video portion. There's going to be a lot of voices. We have two particularly new voices uh, this time for guests. Uh, I need to mute my version on Twitch because I just suddenly heard Tepti talking. All right, so who, who do we have here? We have a returning guest uh, of a lovely dinosaur. Hello, sir. Hello, that is me. His name is T-Rex, in case anyone can't remember the voice. And we also have a, uh, a community member uh, who you guys may know. May know. You want to go ahead and introduce yourself? Uh, hey, guys, I'm CCCoon91. Even though it's not how you pronounce it, it's just become that over it's, it's the become course that. of months That's not how you months. pronounce it? It's technically C2. It's a oh. long story from some oh. garbage. But it's it's just the way it is now. It's been so long. <laughs> what, think, what are you going to do? I think Hovi and I just call you CC Coon. Yeah. Now. No, Hovi calls me CC Coon, C2, C squared, double C. It just Every time you go in, it's completely different. He rolls with it. It's become, nice. a, it's become a game with him. <laughs> well, uh, as to why CC Coon here is on the podcast, we'll we'll get started with that in in just a moment because it'll it'll all be clear. Uh, this past weekend, we did the podcast showdown, and let's just get some big hype hashtag still on the feet. Went all in, guys. Yeah, we all yeah. pulled our weight too. That's right. T-Rex, I hear you had their moment to shine. Yeah, we we pulled the title, guys. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I'm just looking at somebody to challenge. You want to throw down? <laughs> I'm just saying. You know, I've heard uh, that. Uh, I've heard Pope wants to actually just one v one all the guests that come here. So I think he's up for a one v one. He's up for a one v one. I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm, I, I carried him this time. Uh, no. I, I'm not carrying him again for at least another month or so. But anyway, the uh, the podcast showdown happened. Uh, against the Planet Destiny guys, great group of people. We had a fantastic time. Uh, I think after all the e checks cleared, we raised, I think, a little bit over twenty thousand dollars for St. Jude's. Yep, which is so, insane. It's insane. That is insane. Thank you all so much who just who watched the stream, who who if you donated, if you retweeted. If you just, you know, happen to watch one of the VODs later on, thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, and that that brings us to why CC Coon happens to be joining us on the podcast today uh, through an amazing act of generosity and also uh, throwing a massive wrench in the overall timetable of <laughs> uh, the charity event. We were on our second round. I thought he was on so we could yell at him for interrupting our hilt yeah, hill, round. Hill match. Yeah. <laughs> I, 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 I just I, did it to save Tefty the embarrassment. The fuck, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was getting to that. Uh, no. On the second round, we were having a great battle of hilt swords. Uh, and, you know, we were losing. And then we we started to bring it back. And we brought it back. We are like, all right, now we just got to we just gotta keep going. Keep going a little bit. You know, and then we're going to win. We're going to win. And then all of a sudden... Uh, Ch Char and Trav come into the voice channel going, everyone, you need to stop. You need to stop. Like, oh, what's going on? What, what's wrong? CeCe Coon just came in with a massive $10,000 donation, so holy shit. And then <laughs> everyone said, yep. well, we're yeah. just gonna... Uh, I nearly cried. I was like so close to crying when they told us that. And then Pat's response was to throw an incendiary grenade at the entire enemy team and kill them yes. all. Yes. Patrick yeah, was like, a, what, what, no, we had a dance party. Doing? We had a dance party in B because it was in, uh, Some yeah. people were dancing. Some people were throwing <laughs> incendiary grenades at the enemy team. That's why I got to run Silamars so that way it doesn't <laughs> one shot you. It's very important. <laughs> so, uh, we, so we decided this is, this, I think that's worthy of coming onto the podcast. You know, we're not, we're not putting a price tag on it, but. <laughs> well, now you officially. But if there were to so, be a price, it'd be 10k. <laughs> if, 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 if the mods wanted to put the donate button in the uh, chat right now, oh my hey, gosh, that's uh, how you get on, right, guys? You just it's always fine to sell it for charity, hundred percent. Season Coon's also not new to to that experience. Either. Last year, you were one of the the top donators for the Guardian Con uh, St. Jude's yeah. event, and 
obviously everybody knows we raised well over 500,000 on that. And again, that's just incredible. So thank you for the generosity and support and, and just ma making an example of a, what an awesome community we have, you know, one of many. For sure. We, really, we, really uh, glad we hit the 20k mark too. It was yeah, that was incredible. Was yeah, yeah. How did you get involved, uh, CC Coon, in um, Twitch streams, and how do you pick the ones you watch? Um, God, Twitch for me started with Planet Destiny. Actually, I uh, I uh, found the podcast on YouTube, and I ended up started watching them live when you guys went went and you started doing them live the first time. So that's kind of where it started for me. And then from there, I kind of just funneled down into a lot of your streams. Oh, sorry. A lot of your streams. And that led to, I mean, I watched Goth, Broman, Triple, Lumi. I'm following something like... T-Rex. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. I was getting there. <laughs> I follow Nobody follows like, me. Nobody like, should. <laughs> no, I have like 60-some Destiny streamers followed. It wow. becomes kind nice. of a nightmare to watch everything. But... Communities, the streaming community is a lot of a lot of fun to be in. There's a lot of uh, a lot of great personalities to actually follow. What's a, what's some of the fun um, aspects of those streams that you, that that you go to that you gravitate towards? Um, like I like Pat and Tefty because they're uh, always they're always entertaining. They're always the chats are always fun. They're always interesting. Uh, Briar, I don't get to follow a lot because you stream while I sleep. <laughs> because I have a terrible sleep schedule. Uh, Watts, uh, a lot of the same reason, actually. I've been I've been in a couple of your trial streams, but um, unfortunately, uh, T Rex is also the same issue of me sleeping in the uh, wee wee hours of the morning. So it it ends up with a lot of issues. Like I used uh, my sleep schedule at one point was so bad that I was watching Goth stream as he went live as I was going to bed. <laughs> so uh, I've been you're, there. You're, you're also you're like you're West Coast too. So you yeah, know. yeah. Well, I'm go I was going to bed at six a.m. as he was getting online, so it was it was pretty bad. See, that just sounds Dude, normal you, to me. Yeah, you, you have, <laughs> you have yeah, a sleep I'm, schedule of yeah. a YouTuber without being a YouTuber. It's great. Yeah, no, YouTube YouTube's a, a line I don't want to cross. That's that's too much work. <laughs> <laughs> so is so what is uh, what is it that um that gets you engaged like i mean you watch the streams but what is something that streamers do as a community member that watches a lot of streams is what what kind of brings you in or brings you back or what do they do right that um excites you as a as a viewer of, 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 of twitch um i think it's the over overall general positivity of most of the streams for me, because like I, I've definitely followed a lot of uh, streamers with for Destiny. I haven't liked because they're just overall very negative people. Because I, I don't want to watch something like this for negativity. Like I'm, I'm coming to a stream to get away from the real world. I don't want to deal with that <laughs> crap. You know, I want to, I want to go. I want to have fun. I want to play with some people that are nice. Actually, make you know, made a ton and ton of friends from Destiny streams. Like. My friends list on PlayStation is like eight pages of people from streams that I've met through like different chats and stuff. So that's like awesome. I almost no one I know in real life plays Destiny anymore, unfortunately. <laughs> so it's all uh, it's all people uh, from the the magical world of the internet. And are you gonna see in that in a Twitch chat when people are talking about how they got together last night? And the experience they had together last night, and they get back together in the Twitch chat. And they're talking mm -hmm. about it. it yeah. makes, it's really funny. It makes yeah, me so like, happy, um, right? It's the perfect right, yeah. example of what we all want from our community is for them to talk to each other and play with each other. And th that yeah. makes me so happy when they're just talking about the raid they did or trials. I'm mm -hmm. like, yes, yeah. that's yeah, what I yeah. wanted when I did this. Absolutely. Yeah, I met, a, I met quite a few people that I run trials and raids with regularly in a bunch of these chats. Like, I'm, you guys, I'm, most of you know Barnsey, I think. Yeah, DJ Barnsey. Mm -hmm. Southern Swag. Oh, yeah, yeah, a bunch of those people. Yep. Yeah. Uh, you also, I think... Out of everyone in the room here, you actually have the uh, largest amount of time played in Destiny. Because when uh, when we were yeah, in Louisville, we uh, we checked we checked everyone's time played, and you were <laughs> by far actually the most time played. In What's Destiny. that number? Yeah. Well over three thousand hours now. Jeez, nice. That's a lot. Yeah, 
Everybody, now I'm <laughs> curious. Yeah, everybody's going to check their time. Yeah. Right All right, now. I'm checking mine right now. There's so, a uh, there's a website waste called Time Time yep, Wasted. I know. I don't. I don't know where to go. Please. <laughs> Thinking sure. I don't know where to go. about how much time I wasted on this. No, just you got to measure measure from the same source. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. yeah. Otherwise, it's not going to be the same. Well, time, yeah. time right. wasted am... is good because it accounts for all your deleted characters and like Xbox mm-hmm. and PlayStation accounts at the same time. Yeah. So does that number is the number and then minus minus seven hundred. I have two thousand six hundred and eighty four hours minus seven hundred and thirty one deleted the, the hours. The seven hundred. No, is you, included you add it. it. Yeah. Yeah. It, you add it together. Okay. So it's, I have like twenty seven hundred twenty two thousand six hundred eighty four. I oh, have twenty seven hundred as well. Right on the nose. Uh, I thought it was included. Yeah, anyway, twenty six ninety nine. But we're gonna round up because it's it in, it includes the deleted number. It just lets you yep. know that the uh, the minus is the the character you deleted. Yeah, so you attack. I deleted you. the character. So you're a fan of the game, right? Uh, yeah, <laughs> I might play. I might. I might still play like eight hours a day every day. So if even you had, in this drought, if you that's, had to, awesome. if you had to break down to three things that that you want to see different or better for destiny 2 as as a guy that loves the game a community member what are your top three things if i had to on the spot you want for destiny 2 a couple of these are going to sound familiar uh, I, I would like some not peer-to-peer because i'm tired of being <laughs> no storm trance through walls across maps and <laughs> shotguns that never ever should kill you can yeah, we say uh, that code yeah, we'll, we'll go with netcode. Net code? Is that what it is? <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll, piece, we'll piece Tafty with netcode. <laughs> you want a premium um, grade netcode? I, uh, yes. I, I want n- never to hear the words peer-to-peer in my life again. That means, <laughs> I mean, Jesus. God, it's a relic of very, very bygone age. Well, guess you're not playing for honor. Hey-o. No. No. <laughs> yeah, no, thank you. Uh, I'd, I'd really, really like to see the balance patches be separated for PVE and PVP. Because I, okay. uh, I'd like my weapons to function in PVE, period. They don't think... <laughs> they, they just need to work. Yeah. I don't see a reason that I should be shot by a drag and my sniper rifle is over somewhere there on the screen. That doesn't that doesn't help. That sounds, and sounds really good. I want... I really want exotics to be more Borderlands-like. I want... I want ridiculous exotics. Yeah. Because I, I look fine. at, I look at like hard light as, even as like a simple example, and that gun's just cool. It, just, it shoots a giant laser show of garbage that bounces off every hallway ninety billion times until it hits something. Like, I want more of that, and less. I mean, nothing personal. The last word, but less last word. <laughs> I want. I mean, I, I, last word's actually a bad example because last word is. I I still think the last word should not be able to aim down sights. I think you should be. Ha- you should have to hit fire it. And that's just how it works, but I think that'd fit the theme more. I like this guy. We, I, <laughs> yeah, I like this guy, too. <laughs> well, you wouldn't even have to have t- taken the, the bonus damage off, or the aim assist. You could have left it alone if it only yeah. hit-fired, you know? But if that's a whole other conversation. in the game? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you, you definitely need more cool, crazy, you know, sleeper simulant, Vex Mythoclast kind of stuff than mm-hmm. less boring stuff. Yep, yeah. more things exotics, you want. Just yeah, exotics wow. should be differentiable between an exotic and a legendary, and I feel like many of the exotics just feel like worse legendaries at this point. They need to be exotic, you know? Yeah. They were in year one, right? Like I felt yeah. they were pretty exotic in year one, but they just got mm-hmm. nerfed because of PvP down to the fact that, well, to the point where you don't even equip one in PvP. I even, I even think that even in year one, a lot of them didn't feel super exotic. Like, you look at Suros, and Suros, is, it's just an auto-rifle. Yeah. Realistically, it doesn't have sure. anything that differentiates itself between any other auto-rifle, except the Suros perk. But mm-hmm. you can get focus fire on any auto-rifle. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So what's the difference? Yeah. I want a good point. I want things that are interesting. Like, Thorn, as bad as Thorn was during its time period, at least Thorn had a cool theme to it. It had this mm-hmm. really evil look in it shot giant thorns and they poison people bad juju and the, literally. And the only reason and the only reason why it got nerfed right is because of pvp 
PvP, yeah. Mm -hmm. Like, there's no reason. Really? That's a, Yeah, it's a good point. Like, there's no reason that gun couldn't be usable in PvE, except now it has no range and no ammo. I, and I actually do think do it, anything. It, it's nerfs in PvE, or it's nerfs in PvP ended up giving it a buff in PvE because of the way the new perk is designed, where you can, the, the damage over time stacks, so it actually works out yeah. really, really well. It's actually PvE. really good if you play yeah. the Heroic Siva playlist mm -hmm. this week because it's with primary arms. burn. It's actually, yeah, it's yeah. really fun. Yeah. Does primary Hawk Moon is also really good. Yeah, does it Hawk does that Moon burn actually so get buffed with the primary yeah. with small arms? Yeah, that's what chat told me anyway. I didn't actually oh, nice. look at the numbers. Chat told <laughs> I was wondering me about that. Yeah. Chat, and, and you chat could always rely. Space of the internet said it's true, so it must be. <laughs> Chat's always right. Reddit confirmed it, guys. Come to accept. <laughs> so, um, so you you play you played a lot of Destiny. You you obviously those 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 suggestions are awesome. I mean, they're right on. Yeah. I mean that's 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 something that we can look forward to. What do you think that they're going to do with this uh, this balance patch? What do you think we're going to have or if or if a more interesting question is what do you think the next live team release is going to be? I mean for the balance patch, I feel like they're like very obviously going to take a major look at high caliber rounds just as a perk, which is probably going to unfortunately lead to them being completely worthless and <laughs> you're going to not want high caliber rounds on anything. But, I mean, I, realistically, I'd really like to see pulse rifles be be different because I really don't like the fact that my Hawksaw kills in the exact same time as a Clever Dragon, but Clever Dragon just fires faster. So why do I need a Hawksaw? Yeah. And then why do I need a Nerwin's Mercy? Because it's the same problem and it scales up so badly with pulse rifles, yeah. To the point where you're in the the highest impact archetype, and you literally go from a point seven three time to kill to a one point eight time to kill if yeah. you miss a like it's a bullet. Balance. It's far more punishing. <laughs> like you need to be far more precise and all that kind of stuff. But when you're shooting like twenty bullets, if you miss one, it's like that's five percent. Versus if you're shooting nine, you know that's <laughs> it's over ten. So you're you're kind of SOL at that point if you're in a gunfight. Yeah. Yeah, like it's right. it's really pulse rifles need work, but the pulse rifles are so like insanely hard to balance, especially mm -hmm. that highest impact archetype. Oh, like yeah. I I don't I don't I never saw a problem with the Nerwin's Mercy meta that we had a while back because I feel like that medium rate of fire pulse rifle it was really balanced actually. I don't mm -hmm. I don't recall their reasoning off the top of my head why that archetype got nerfed, but I I can't. I don't see a reason for that. I felt like and it those got were the quick. perfect skill test. Yeah, mm -hmm. it was really quick. Oh, it was fast. I felt like that <laughs> was like the perfect skill test weapon in that meta. There was nothing overpowered about them. They had a decent time to kill. They weren't outrageous. But, uh, well, everything else was viable for the most part in that meta still, the, except the, like hand cannons and autos. The GOM hadn't really been discovered yet, though. Remember, like, before yes. people... No. Mm. Yeah, because it, it was... There was Mercy and Hawk saw that people were like, oh, my God. Yeah, and then... Was that around the same time as Messenger? When the Messenger was really popular as well? No. no. That was before. Messenger was, was before, before Taken okay. King. Yeah. My, my timeline of, of guns is just everywhere at this point. <laughs> yeah. Because it's changed so much. For sure, yeah. The GOM was added to Omnigo later on, and then I think it was Triple was one of the main people that spearheaded that, of being like, this is actually an amazing weapon with the right perks. Yeah. Then he got that, and then suddenly it was like, oh my god, this is way better. <laughs> two blues. Yeah, two blues, two blues became a two thing, blues. and then and now we got GOM and Silver Dread. Or, I mean, uh, so, uh, the, the dragon. Clever dragon. Clever dragon. The Silver Dragon. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Personally, my, dragon. my favorite meta in all of Destiny was the Messenger meta. Like, I really, really liked that meta. Even though I at the same the time you were you had to deal with the Thorn last word Hawk Moon. Yeah. It was yeah. the same meta, unfortunately. But I really, really was a huge fan of the Messenger, and I felt like that was an, another that was, really skill testing meta. That was yeah. one of the really final good. rounds. Like final round was like, awesome. Every, let's not, <laughs> let's not go back to that. that. Powerful. <laughs> <laughs> final round, two tech I, thorn. I, uh, felt so good getting uh, shot in the toe and then dying. <laughs> Remember <laughs> shot package oh, winners? Mm. Mm, oh yeah. Man, I remember that felt getting so tweeted good. about a montage of someone final rounding people. That was the, get out of here, really. He was, was so proud of himself. Yes, <laughs> and he was in like a one v one close quarter fight, and he'd empty out his his sniper <laughs> to shoot people. It was I. Uh, he was really proud of it, and I was like, <laughs> what? Bro, "Why bro. are you showing this to me?" Okay, okay, yeah, <laughs> it's cool. Them YouTube yeah. views, man. 
Yeah, I, I, I met my best friend getting killed. One of my one of one of my <laughs> one of my favorite <laughs> yeah, final round. one of my best friends uh, playing. He was final rounding. I versed him, and he was final rounding with a weapons of light Titan bubble. Oh my god, Ooh, that's just man. overkill. That just sounds like a bad time. <laughs> man, that's overkill. You already like you already killed him with final round. Why need the weapons of light? Is all it's right. the thought that counts. Like you wanted to make a point. kill with the other two yeah. rounds. It was you know, just one beautiful. shot everywhere. Yeah. It's like playing a Russian foil stomping ground in your in your Belcher <laughs> magic deck. I will Kunti. say, CC Kunti, well, only one here that gets that joke. Yeah, it's. Funny. I would ask I you it. what you're talking about, but I don't care. <laughs> yeah, I know what magic is. <laughs> you know what? Fine, CC Kunti, let's let's is. leave. We're gonna make our own podcast, and we're just gonna talk about magic the entire time. <laughs> yeah. Hey, T Rex said he knows what magic is. Yeah, okay. Sounds like it looks like he doesn't care though. <laughs> He's like, I don't play I know magic. magic is I just also. know what it is, and I know yeah. I, I have a friend of mine who plays a lot of magic, so I, I, I've learned everything from him. Mm. I'm more of a Hearthstone kind of guy. Sorry. Me too. We'll yeah. go make a Hearthstone podcast. <laughs> hey, I still no, have too because everyone's busy playing the game instead. Hearthstone's <laughs> yeah. really similar yeah. to magic. It's yeah, it's they're very close. Minus, I mean, minus like land tapping and stuff, but yeah, I, I guess I, I can see why you'd you'd understand because like you you're gaining like resources over time as you play longer, yeah. so I can understand that. Yeah, they're they're yeah. relatable enough that, that it's a good transition if you're trying to. Introduce you guys about this game called other. Destiny? I don't know if you're about this game or not. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody plays that game anymore. How many hours? Is it? <laughs> that game. <laughs> um, <laughs> Let's not talk about that. Let's not so, go back to that number. <laughs> CC, um, did you? You 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 spent a lot of time on Twitch, and something that we talked about in the the pre lobby, we were talking about uh, with T Rex about community pages. Um, how is that? How is that going to help, or is that going to help the community members like CC Kuhn, T Rex, um, um, with watching Twitch? How is that something? What is that? And what what, what that gonna, is it? Wait, let's start with what is it? What yeah. is it? <laughs> I have Let's no idea what community pages are. Yeah, I haven't heard sure. about that either. Uh, at PAX South, uh, during the Twitch Town Hall, they revealed a bunch of stuff, you know, about how much money was raised for charity on Twitch, a lot kind of stuff. Uh, and then they, the kind of the, the big thing that was discussed for at least for Twitch as a whole was community pages. And community pages are to help find uh, broadcasts you want to watch specifically. Mm -hmm. So, uh, if you've watched, if you've looked at the CSGO directory or the creative directory, there's, they're very overhauled and where it's like, I kind of know what I want to watch. And they kind of direct you towards that area to where it's like, okay, CSGO, I want to learn how to play this map. So I can go to the, that map, everyone play on that map, watch you, we're there. Um, community pages aren't the exact same thing. They'll be curated and all that kind of stuff. But, um, it's, it's designed. So, uh, if you take destiny as an example, uh, it'd be broken down into ways that you could find someone who is raiding or find someone who is doing crucible or is doing trials or doing patrols or forge. Okay, it's so basically specifically like designed for you to f bungee hmm? thing. Like what they have on bungees. Like what they have on bungees end, kind of. It's gonna be I I feel like it's gonna be more than that because we haven't seen like actual mock ups. Yeah. So I, I can't really speak to what that it's what what it's going to be. I just know what its goal is. Mm -hmm. Um mm -hmm. and that's and that's what the design is, is to ideally find the broadcast you specifically want to watch without having to, to only see everything on Destiny. You can scroll down, and be like, all right, so it's trials weekend, more than likely it's gonna be pretty hard to find a PvE broadcast, right? You have to scroll down. Okay, oh, finally, someone who's rating. Now, uh, maybe it's a hashtag or maybe it's a way that you can click a button and be like, here's everyone doing PvE content, and you can find folks that way. So on the plus side, it sounds like it's going to be a great way to find exactly what you're looking for, and it's going to mm -hmm. hopefully help discoverability. So that way, if you are someone who's doing more of a, a not hot topic activity at that moment, that maybe folks can find you still if they want to watch that because right now they simply can't find you. Sweaty yeah. patrols, um, and it's a double <laughs> it's a double edged sword too, right? Because the the thing that concerns me, and I and I voice this to them, and we'll just have to wait and see because this really only applies to Destiny for the most part. So I think it's for Twitch as a whole, better search functions, better discoverability, mm -hmm. top. It's like that's exactly what Twitch needs. It's because that's the kind of the big problem right now for a lot of people who are trying to grow is uh where do you start how do folks find you that's mm -hmm. that is another tool for folks like them to use yeah um the thing that concerns me with destiny is right now we kind of already have a pretty at least on twitch we already have a pretty uh 
<laughs> uh, folks don't have much diversity in the content they put out because <laughs> uh, it, it's it falls to cadence. Mm-hmm. On Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, you'll see a lot of nightfalls and a lot of rating. On Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, trials carries. That's just kind of how it goes back and forth. Mm-hmm. Um, my fear is that uh, it's it's going to be shifted to wherever the growth is at that time. So if they notice that these people doing whatever this community page is, this activity, that's getting more views or getting more uh, follows, subs, whatever whatever metric you want to follow, right? Uh, my fear is that folks will stop doing whatever they like and, and try to find what is productive or what is successful. Um, I don't know, that's me the way it is. Because for me, I see it as a great thing for me. Because that way, if I'm like not doing trials in the weekend, folks can easily still find me. And that's great. Mm-hmm. But uh, I don't know. It's it's an unknown mm-hmm. variable that I, yeah. I I simply have to wait and see how it's going to work out. Um, is it just going to be based on the game? And negatives. The categories are just going to be based on the game? or They're not at all based on like the type of personality of the streamer or anything like that? Uh, they haven't gone to fully into how it's going to function, but community pages and they'll be curated. So the Destiny community is it could be a community page. And then okay. in the Destiny community, there is PvE streams, PvP streams. But it sounds like there's also the possibility of like, um, if I wanted to have a dinosaur tea party uh, community where it's like my viewers and stuff like that can kind of see what everyone else is doing. Um, to where it's not the exact, it's not like teams to where it's like you join a Twitch team and then you all have like this auto host thing and all that kind of stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, but I think it's a feature we're just going to have to wait and see how it plays out. Cause I'm actually, I'm not entirely sure to be quite honest. And I have, and I at PAX South went to a meeting where it was explained to me, um, <laughs> without fit, without <laughs> physically seeing it, it's hard to really say how it's going to function because how it looks is a huge part, yeah. um, of what it could potentially do. All I know is that that's what the goals are. It, the goals are to build deeper communities and find and, and have communities be more readily discoverable for what you want to watch. Yeah. So mm. that way, if you really are someone that's really who really wants to watch Dark Souls PvP, you'll be easily able to find a Dark Souls Three PvP stream. Versus are they like gonna and stuff are they like gonna that. change the way the like the game directory works? So now you you know if you click on games, you see all the games by the games the, directory is not going away. Okay, so you, once you click on a game, then you see a subdirectory of, like, here's people playing Trials. We don't know. Okay. <laughs> the answer, the answer well, I got was the game directory is not going away. So right. I mean, I, I, it just I, sounds like it's maybe a different way of searching. I don't know if it's going to be built mm-hmm. into the games directory to where it's like you it's click something while you sure. look at a game. I mean, uh, I could see that, like how they do with Counter-Strike. Like you said, with you know, you select yeah, the map that you want to watch in Counter-Strike. Idea. So people could, mm-hmm. if, like... I know there's actually... There's definitely a community out there that's not as big as the Trials community, but definitely exists where people want to watch raids and nightfalls and stuff like that during the weekend and obviously yep. most of the streams at the top are going to be trials so there that could actually be a great separation where they'll be like okay here's the pvp destiny here's pve destiny so they can easily filter and, and find those yeah it would be super cool if they can also split it to like a competitive type stream and then like a super mm-hmm. chill type stream because things like overwatch or league of yeah. legends for example maybe you want to watch people mess around with their friends and you're yeah. kind of going through that comedy feel. And maybe you want to see someone climbing and going to the highest rank and and teaching you, actively trying to teach you how to get better. It can be really difficult to go through streams and be like, okay, who's actually trying to teach me stuff? Who's just like only plays, you know, Roadhog, for example. Maybe you want to watch someone play a Mercy. Where are you looking for a Mercy main? So it would yeah. be really cool if they could break it down to like competitive and, and more fun, more relaxed, more time with friends, or maybe like... These people just teach you a lot. These people aren't teaching as much. It, it, that'll be really good because I know I find it difficult to look mm-hmm. for new streams in those super big directories of stuff that I really want to watch. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. That'd so, what do you think, CC? Is it is it is it going to work? <laughs> you are the community <laughs> yeah. master. Give the vote. I'm a I'm a I'm a bad example because basically everyone I found in the Destiny community, I started in someone's channel basically, and then I host someone. I'm like, hey, this guy's cool. And then that's how that happens for me. I don't go looking for anything. <laughs> I'm pretty stuck in my ways at this point. I'm like, like I said, you're following over 60 different people, streaming one game. You run yeah. out of time real quick. <laughs> so I'm probably. Yeah. It sounds great. It sounds amazing for anyone looking for something. But I'm a horrible example. I know what I'm looking <laughs> for, unfortunately. <laughs> well, the way long. I've always seen stuff like you mentioned hosting, and uh, 
I think it's great that so many folks in Destiny and Twitch as a whole to where if you have friends that you really like their broadcasts and you raid them, whether they're Destiny or not, like it's awesome because I, I was a Twitch viewer before I was really part like a uh, career streamer. Like I started out with speedrunning because I was like, man, speedrunning is so cool. And I started like streaming for fun because of speedrunning. But I always found new speedrunners I love to watch because of hosting. And there's nothing like finding that one stream that's like, this is where I love to be. So that's why I've always really loved like the Destiny community in terms of the whole whenever they do raid and host folks. Because you never know when that one viewer is going to find like that place that just feels comfy at, you know, maybe during their work hours or when they're, you know, getting ready for bed or during dinner. And they have like their favorite streamer. Because that's like something that's going to last for like years, hopefully, as long as they mm -hmm. keep streaming and stuff mm -hmm. like that. So I think it's really cool that you find people based off of like community recommendation. That's pretty nifty to me. Yeah. Yeah, it's very common in the Destiny directory and not so much elsewhere, to mm -hmm. be honest. Yeah. You almost never see it anywhere else. There you see it in variety about. casters, but like game directories, not as much. I 100% yeah. agree. Yeah. Yeah, Everyone else sure. seems to think it's a competition. <laughs> and they don't want they don't want to send people elsewhere. It's uh it's a really it's a really <laughs> it's a it's a long <laughs> it's a long conversation and a lot to unpack, but when uh, point, yeah, when I was like when Overwatch first came out, all, I would usually end all my Overwatch streams by trying to raid someone in the Overwatch directory because you know I'd only streamed in the Destiny directory. It's like that's what mm -hmm. we do there. We we raid someone in the Destiny directory. Great, mm -hmm. and every single time it was met with like, oh shit, I'm getting raided. Like they had only yeah. been raided in like negative connotations, where like a bunch oh, of people come right. in and just start like trolling and oh. spamming. So yeah, yeah. Nice. yeah every, mm -hmm. like almost every single person that I raided uh, ended up being like that. So it's like oh. Yeah, okay. <laughs> the Destiny community is kind of insulated from the rest of Twitch, isn't it? A little it's bit. Kind of weird. Yeah. It is. <laughs> it is. It is. Yeah. Just look for another Destiny streamer that's streaming the game you're playing. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Yeah. That's, that's, that's also not hard to find right now. There's that's, a lot yeah, of yeah, Destiny community true. in Overwatch right now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yep. Me. <laughs> me, me <laughs> meanwhile, I'm like, I'm like playing Stardew, and I'm like, all right, farming. I've been, I've been thinking about streaming Stardew myself. <laughs> it's yeah, fun man started, that uh, first like that first like eight hours of them being like what are you a, are you a freaking idiot like do you <laughs> do you why aren't you wearing a helmet right now and then eventually like oh it's because you're new okay and then they <laughs> continue to tell you you should wear a helmet but after that first eight hours then it then it it evens out oh, so it's, like Dark Souls. Chill. <laughs> it's it's like everything oh my funny God. enough it is a little bit to where people are like <laughs> i don't understand why you don't know how to do all these things that's not explained to you in the game it's like you have yeah. to learn it. I can't this is bullshit. I can't believe you've already watched a bunch of playthroughs of this, or you haven't watched a bunch of playthroughs of the game and know exactly what's going on yet. <laughs> That's why it's even better like my game. First time. You mentioned like Dark Souls, where it's like the game just comes out and like you're streaming it like the hour it launches, and then like two hours in it, they're like, "What? You don't know how to beat this boss yet?" And I'm like, "Do you? Do you know how time works? Do you actually?" <laughs> Just it hurts my brain, man. They're obviously all beta me. testers, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that dark Salty Souls beta, beta this game. Out. Yeah. It happens all the time. Seven was fun because they were waiting for you to mess up. <laughs> oh, <laughs> they yeah. Great, got great enjoyment out of you pooping your pants live on stream. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and the DLC, like there's the the bedroom thing where it's literally a puzzle. You are literally just figuring out a puzzle, and people will come in and be like, "Yeah, the code is this, this, and this." I'm like. Hello. The whole game is a puzzle and you're giving me the answer to the puzzle. It doesn't know. You can give hints. You can People be like, maybe nice. you should maybe you should check out that drawer a little bit more. You know, maybe <laughs> you should maybe you should go over to the right corner. But just to like put out the actual answer of a puzzle game. No, stop that, everyone. Right? Stop it. <laughs> yeah, that's why I like watching there's people like, play There's Dark like Souls. advice, and then there's being a dick. So. Yes, yeah. exactly. There's a big difference. <laughs> uh, that's what's great about Dark Souls. You can't uh, you can't spoil it enough. The game's just too hard. <laughs> yeah, that's you, true. you tell Tefty a hundred times how to kill the Nameless that's King, true. and it's still going to take him fifty more tries to kill him. <laughs> oh, oh, uh, Tefty. Roasted. Tefty, oh. just parrying it. Oh. Why yeah, aren't you just parrying? Parry the, oh, just parry the Nameless King, you know? How, how many hours did it take you to beat Nameless King? Uh, it was... I think it added up to about, like, four or five, honestly. But, like, it was, I was, it was, I was the course of a couple streams. Yeah. It was really funny, because for me, it was very much like, a, all right, I have a strategy. I'm, like, sticking to it until I do it. And the moment 
I'd sword and boarded, beat him in three attempts. Nice. I came and back. I was so mad. Yeah, it, I know. I had the exact same feeling because I like hit my head against the wall, and like I think it was it was three streams. I think so. Like the first one, just super salty. Possibly one of the saltiest streams I've ever had. Second one, I gave up after like thirty minutes, and then the next one, I came back and one shot him. And I was like. Yep. Just pissed and excited. I found <laughs> I found out I could do enough damage to where if I got him down to like 60%, I could just health gate him. And I was like, this is stupid. <laughs> and I got mad. Nice. And then I beat the game and I went to bed. I recently a did a, uh, a cane run of all bosses on uh, Bloodborne. And I hadn't beat Orphan of Cost yet. So I got to do that with the cane. Yeah. And it was, I did it. And it was great. Oh, you got dunked on probably a bunch, right? Yeah, yeah, it, it dunked on me pretty hard, but it was a lot <laughs> of fun. All right, all right, yeah, okay. That lightning, man. Ooh. Well, Cease Coons, we do need to get into some uh, other conversations. We want to thank you for coming on, but before yeah, you no before problem, you guys. leave, before you leave, what other games are you interested in playing? Because I kind of, like, I, I need some other breaks from Destiny right now, and if you could, like, you know, suggest some games, that'd be sweet. Yeah, and, and don't say Magic the Gathering. Don't say that. <laughs> you can, you can say already. Magic the Gathering. No, I, I play a lot of Magic already, so that's, <laughs> I, that's I <laughs> true. Yeah, I, uh, I play I play a fair bit of Overwatch, but like I uh, last night I actually just started Tales of Basaria because I'm a huge, huge fan of the Tales series. Just I've played all of them. Nice. Uh, I'm a huge, huge JRPG fan, so like Persona 5 is coming out pretty soon gonna waste literally hundreds <laughs> of hours of my life grinding the same dungeon over and over again. Oh, it's like, supposed to be on in February and it got delayed. Oh, yeah, I got no, right? so it was the mad. It was literally the Valentine's Day edition. And then it got I the, know, so now it's like, now it's like, I want my money back. You lied to me. <laughs> it's literally, the entire limited edition is based on Valentine's Day themes and now it comes yeah. out in March. I bought it. I, I bought it. I was, no oh, shame. yeah, I bought it. I couldn't wait. Uh, Horizon Zero Dawn's coming out. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. now, that, that just looks Neo, cool. Nier, oh, For Honor. Neo. I have a oh. calendar for this. Yeah, <laughs> Nier, the first Nier was really good and really underrated. So I'm super looking forward to the sequel. Uh, Mass Effect Andromeda. Uh, I'm gonna be streaming that until I die. We're best friends. Nice. <laughs> yeah. Best friends. <laughs> oh yeah. I mean, I I have like a, a total of ten playthroughs in the series, one through three, all the way through. So I. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> what if What if I told you I played Mass Effect Andromeda? What? I mean, I, yeah, I've been to hey, Bioware a whole bunch. Oh my I god, T. Just a little bit. I'm just. Uh, can we kick T off? A little bit. Can we kick a guest off? Oh, I, I have, man, whenever I get to say that to someone who I know loves the game, just the biggest uh, shit eating grin. I'm just yeah, like, yeah. I get to say, so I get to You're say I played it. Definitely <laughs> awful. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to that one. Definitely. I'm super excited. Yeah. They, uh, they had the, uh, they showed the, uh, PB character kit today on Twitter yeah. and stuff like that. So for everyone who wants to, like, cosplay before the game comes out, they yeah, have, like, they're... 3D models and stuff like that for everyone. Oh, That's right. cool. color palettes. All of them. Yeah. Uh, and then, you know, at some point in my lifetime, Kingdom Hearts 3 will come out and I'll finally be able to end my childhood. I'll just, it'll be over. That's, like, the last line. <laughs> and I need to end it. Because I've been waiting for that game for 12 years now. Wow. It's officially the StarCraft length. We, we we hit it this year. Hmm. It's great. Well, call me when we have the. Call me when we first. hit that Half Life three length. Because <laughs> that doesn't exist. You you it act you exist. act like Valve has to make games anymore. Like <laughs> yeah, they print money. Shit. They have they have the platform that all PC gaming basically revolves around. They don't yeah. need to make games. They just print money. And they're building At another point, one with the Vive. Gaben just sits somewhere in his room counting his money and the tears of people waiting for Half Life three. <laughs> how he how he stays alive. <laughs> There's a tear for every nickel. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that's awesome. So did that, All right. that answer your question, Pat? You got you yeah. Got that, that's a that's a very that's very good. There's a lot of games that I can play now. Well, soon ish, I guess. I'll keep playing Overwatch, trying to get that Anna play of the game until play through the Mass Effect series, man. The first I, game doesn't age super well, but two evil. and three, evil. yeah, two and three are great. Two and three are great. Play yeah, Resident should, Evil. Have you played them all yet, Pat? Yeah, I I, I I played one and two. I never actually played three because I did. I was going through school at the at the time. Well, there you go. What? Bruh. See, me and T, we're we're on the same boat. You need to. <laughs> All right. It it plays right. really well on to... PC too. Okay. Like the graphics I'll, I'll need to really sit well. down. All right. Is it, All right. Uh, is it Mass Effect Two free right now too? 
Yeah, Mass Effect 2. Oh, uh, it was free on Origin. It was, it was free for I don't know while. if it is anymore. What? It should be. You need to you sit down, spend the $20 on Origin to buy the yeah. trilogy and all oh. the DLCs. It's $20. Right. $20. That's pretty good. That's pretty <laughs> That's good. You need to play through the whole series again leading up to Andromeda. Cause Jesus. I'm, I'm sure T knows something, but we, we've been told that our choices in the original trilogy do matter to the new one. Even though, there's a 500 year, even though there's a 500 year time gap. We don't know <laughs> how they matter. We, they've been told they matter. Every hey, look at this avoid- skeleton of a dead shepherd. Okay, he let's is, move on. He is suddenly <laughs> racking his NDA right now in his brain. Being of- like, what can I say about <laughs> no, this? No, I know what I, I know what I can and can't talk about. For those of us who've actually beaten Mass Effect Three, the, the, those choices at the end kind of drastically change the outcome of the known universe in the Ma- Andromeda. If they enough. actually apply. it changes it changes it changes what happens in your galaxy. Well, yes. Well, humans should still be affected by that. So I expect Ryder to have glowing green eyes when I start up my game, my damn game. In no, Andromeda. because there's no Mass Effect relays over in Andromeda. That's the whole point. It's well, really the, it's yeah, spread via the Mass Effect all right, relays. All right, all right, all right. This, this is getting into it. Destiny. This is <laughs> getting into talk some like. We got actual real news to talk about this week, yeah. and we've got Something to talk about it. Something actually happened. Yeah. <laughs> two things. At least I, two I do, things. I just like video games, yeah. okay? Me too. Me too. Uh, Me too. We all it's okay. I'll stop by T's chat later, and we'll, yeah. we'll, we'll have this <laughs> <You're> conversation <laughs> keep later. learning out there. Uh, <laughs> he's going, thank you very much for your continued generous support and donations of the Destiny community and all of our endeavors with char- all the charities that we're doing. Just salute yep. and drink cheers. drink cheers You'll whatever see me around again cheers i'll be back for <laughs> guardian con sure. i can't shake off so much are will, you going to guardian con you. yes i will see you hopefully all of you there oh yeah, nice we, absolutely we will, we'll be there. awesome i've met yeah. pat and hovey mm-hmm. but i've yeah, i've got to shave this else. because of you i've got to shave this off and 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 glue it to fallout's face <laughs> so i was looking forward <laughs> to that <laughs> I got it. I've got a shield of sanity, and we're gonna take Vaseline and put it on Fallout's face, and he's we're gonna take this and stick it to him. Oh, that, that is disgusting. I love it. Gross. That's, that's <laughs> <what it's laughs> I don't uh, know why he agreed to it. It was weird. You it, know, you it was like he. Before. You should eat a bunch what? of pizza and get it all over your beard, and then shave. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna do some no, dirty syrup, flaming hot syrup. Cheetos. <laughs> I'm gonna do Ooh. some dirty no, things no, no, you gotta to combine it. Them. You gotta get the maple syrup and then get the cheese. Oh, on it's the gonna, maple syrup. it's gonna be. I'm gonna look like a homeless man, and and it's gonna be like stuff caked in there, and just like, and then he's gonna, yeah, it's gonna be great. Fantastic. Oh, that's disgusting. <laughs> I, I really uh, want to talk about this Mega Blocks leak, guys. Yeah. Like, yeah. really yeah. bad. <laughs> Later, dude. I'm out of here, guys. Thank you, yep. Thank yeah. you Thanks, man. Thanks for being Thank here. you very much, sir. Appreciate it, man. Let it be known right. if you want a spot on the Destiny Community Podcast just like that, $10,000 is the all the donation that it takes for a 30-minute time spot. <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> that's hey. what the comments will probably say. Probably. But I honestly, got that for free. I got to nerd out about Mass Effect. Like, I feel like I got something out of that. <laughs> What's great is that we've got community members like that, and I know he's just one, he's one person that was able to give that donation, but $20,000, that means that the other thousand people, it shows the power of the community as a mm-hmm, whole. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The other sure. thousand people in that, you know, two, it was up to 1,500, 2,000 people that were watching, they all contributed. They all donated money in one way or another, either being there or getting the name out. And that was the other ten thousand dollars, you know. Mm-hmm. So yep. being a part of that mass, whether it's a dollar, whether it's five, whether it's ten, it all matters. All adds up. And, yeah. um, and Siskun did at one point. He he donated five dollars with a message that said, "If everyone in chat donates five dollars, then we'll we'll make it to twenty thousand dollars right now." And there were just about every single yeah every single person that I uh, talked to that won one of the uh, raffles uh, for entering uh, was like, oh yeah, I donated because he was like, hey, if you, everyone does, if everyone did that, we would, you know, He's raise it. Awesome. Crap yeah. yeah, so. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. It's great. It's really cool. Okay, so. Leaks. Mega blocks. Mega blocks. Mega blocks. Destiny 2. Briar. 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 Set us. Build the picture. Build give the us, picture. Give us the information. This Tell right. me a story, Mr. Rabbit. Rabbit. Tell me Mega a story. Mega blocks. Uh, <laughs> A new three new sets of Mega Blocks uh, got leaked, or well, they were actually posted on Amazon as official, you know, products. Mm-hmm. They quickly got 
pulled down, but not before people screenshotted the descriptions of these three sets. One of them is the Aspect of Glass building set, which is relatively boring. It's literally just a ship and a bunch of stuff we already know about, so we're not going to talk about it. Two of them are interesting. <laughs> One less so. It's the Cabal Goliath tank building set. It is interesting because uh, it features a Cabal tank that actually you can put soldiers in, so it'd be significantly bigger than the one we're accustomed to. Sweet. And it comes with a Zavala action figure. The third one, though, is the most interesting. Mm -hmm. It's the Cabal Bruiser Battle Building Set. I'm just going to read the description of this. It comes with a building, a buildable hangar platform. Set the scene for a clash between a bruiser's crushing strength and a master swordsman's skill. A legendary warrior faces his greatest contest yet in the tower hangar. Wielding his Ray's lighter, hero of the crucible Lord Shack prepares to pit his blade against the furious cleavers of the Cabal Red Guard. There's a lot of stuff in there. Obviously, we're seeing a set, you know, a battle take place in the tower hangar. Yep. We don't know what a bruiser is. We don't know what the Cabal Red Guard is. And we're seeing Lord Shaxx fighting, a yep. NPC fighting, uh, which is also notable from the Cabal Goliath tank set where Zavala is fighting. Mm -hmm. There's a lot in there. We haven't had a official that's statement from Bungie that says... Also, it said Raze This isn't anything. Yeah, it it said Raze Lighter, which is in the current Raze game. Light. So does right. that mean that Raze Lighter is going to Destiny 2? I don't think so. Ooh. I, I, the way I see mm. this, I, I have it pictured out in my head that there's an opening cutscene to Destiny 2 that has Lord Shaxx and Zavala defending the tower from a Cabal invasion. They have your one weapons. We lose. We get pushed out of the tower. We get pushed out of the last city. And all of our vault space! Our vault <laughs> gets gone. destroyed. Everybody likes to talk, well, there's a vault in the... <laughs> there's a vault in the... Uh, oh, oh, yeah. All right. You know, in the, get in your the hats reef, on everyone. There you go. There's there a vault go. in the reef, and there's a vault in the in Felwater's Peak. But it could be that those are just access points. You know, transmatting to the <laughs> actual vault. But it, I mean, what an exciting opening! And what if you know these are the only two times we've seen or we've known of NPCs fighting. We've never seen action figures built out of NPCs. What if they died? What if they died defending Zavala the vault? Yeah, but, how, how dramatic oh no. an opening Ooh. would that be to Destiny 2? My girlfriend would be very upset if Shax died. <laughs> she, yeah, because she literally is Lady Shax. So she is so. literally she Lady Shax. Yeah. <laughs> then again, um, my competition would be gone, so. That's right? true. Yeah. It's a good thing. <laughs> so, just, like, not looking at the spoiler aspects or whatever, I want to look at the legitimate, uh, the legitimate aspects of this being an, a real leak. Because, to me, this... This is probably the most real thing that we've seen from Destiny 2. Not just like nameless forum posts lift it, listing off the, all the features that the communities want for the right. past 20 years yeah. about the game. Yeah, that totally, right. totally yeah. didn't seem to my, make it. My, uncle, my <laughs> uncle's <laughs> friend's roommate works at Bungie and he told <laughs> us everything. You can. Yeah. And he told me there'll be aliens. Yeah, there, there will be <laughs> aliens. More aliens. <laughs> Great. <laughs> well done. No, this this actually seems to line up. For, for one thing, um, when physical products usually get made, they have the descriptions, everything like that, to go to retailers. Um, and, you know, that, that comes out a hell of a lot, long time before the, you know, product that it's supporting does. Just as an example, Star Wars Force Awakens, uh, major plot points from that got leaked because of Lego sets. We knew uh, the characters' names. We knew there was going to be, a, you know, a... Uh, a lightsaber battle between two uh, specific characters uh, because of Lego sets. That's just one small example in a sea of examples. The other thing is this This also lines up with Toy Fair coming out, mm -hmm. which is uh, towards the end of February, which, while they may not have, you know, the physical products there, they will want to have descriptions, possibly, you know, mock-ups uh, there as well. Uh, roll that back a little bit further. Activision's earnings call is supposed to be coming out. I think what the ninth of yes. ninth of Super February. Soon. So, mm -hmm. so Toy Fair, Toy Fair is coming out after the Activision's earning call. They would if there was going to be some sort of announcement, you know, it would be between that time period. They would be totally clear 
to announce that there. Plus, just also given the time that it actually takes to develop physical products, all the injection moldings, the the manufacturing, like that, that takes a very long time to yeah. properly set up. So, this. I thought they just stole some Legos and rebranded them. Yeah, yeah rebranded. Yeah, it's a reskin. <laughs> reskin video games, reskin Legos, right? Yeah. So yeah. One of game. the things you said, Briar, is interesting to me. You said um, the aspect of glass, and you kind of wasn't that interesting. But yeah. I, I beg to differ. Okay. What is the aspect of glass being amongst this new content mm-hmm. release of 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 Mega Blocks? Does that mean we get to inter- be introduced into the Vault of Glass again? I don't know, man. It's I I, I can't speak to that. Oh, no, I know. Uh, we got the hats on. Of course we well, can. Well, that was another that. leak, right? <laughs> There's been another leak. Another leak? Are you talking about, about the, Vault, the Vault of Glass armor okay. and all that stuff? Oh, yes. Armor. Oh, I actually didn't so see what, this one. Uh, the second yeah. gear sets and stuff? That's yeah. Right. I thought, I thought oh, that was a long time ago. Just, I thought that was but everyone's kind of bringing up that up again because they're now thinking that Vault of Glass is going to be brought back before Destiny 2 comes out. Because everyone was mm. kind of thinking that that was going to happen. And then they're like, oh, hey, look, there is armor that looks very similar to Vault of Glass, but it's different. So people have kind it's of brought blue. that back up. Blue they brought, armor, it's blue. right? It's rare. Yeah, they brought the it in database forever, it. though. What if the Vault what, of what Glass... What I've always equated that, though, is I've always assumed that that was like... During launch for like the raid and stuff, they didn't know how they were going to handle normal and hard mode probably as well as they do now. Yeah. So like maybe they wanted to have completely separate gear sets for it to where hard mode had the blue gear set and then normal would be, you know, the normal like orange gear set. Mm -hmm. But like, didn't that get taken out of the... Out of the uh, the armoring Anyways. stuff now too, so is yeah. it just gone? It's, it's, like it's I not think, there anymore. I think, yeah, I think people this... have been referencing mm. it again because there's been so much talk about the but old raids being added brought back, back. Right? I have no. I, don't I have so. such a hard time trusting anything in the armory because I feel like they just <laughs> set up the API before they establish what they're actually doing with the game. Sometimes that's so, true. Like, the armory is like, oh, all of a sudden this new stuff's here. It's like, oh shit, that's not that's the different yeah. release. <laughs> it can also, yeah, it can also be test, so test holders so, or test place or like uh, placeholders yeah. for all that stuff because they have to have data in place to make sure they can call to the servers and make sure it works and all that. So that's how I look at that. But also with the with exactly. the Vault of Glass thing, there's no reason why they can't have something in Destiny Two that obviously is going to relate to Vault of Glass. Like Vault of Glass is no, a big place. No it's yeah. a bit, yeah. It's a big place. It's rooted in the lore now in the game. So there's obviously it could be connections in Destiny Two. Or maybe something gets unlocked. You know, we went in there with the Taken King for stuff. Can you I know, really, can I really express my hat right now? Yeah, okay. I mean, the only reason Good I didn't talk about if, it is because wait, wait. it doesn't mention anything that we've never heard of. Right. Whereas right. the other so two, what if Vault of Glass is all about time travel? Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. What if that that is some fight? I want to say prequel. I want to say that maybe there is a piece of this where we're going back in time to a fight. That to save praise. Involves, no. Please this, no. I mean, I know. <laughs> I'm just saying I got the hat guys. on, so I'm allowed to do this. The paradox <laughs> is fuck, man. Yeah. Stand by for go, resurrection. What if, what if part of our fight is this, like, you know, where we go back in time and we've got to take care of shit, you know? Mm. I guess, but, I guess, like, my complaint with time travel is I definitely don't think it's lazy. Because you know, when it's well done, it's like... Like your head explodes yeah. for like. A oh, primer. that's what that. That's why that happened. I was the guy that put that gun there the first time, and like it's like this really cool experience. But I feel like in a game like Destiny, to me, it wouldn't. Cop out's not the right word, but to me, it's not the story I would want because yeah. Destiny's been about this story of you growing as a guardian and like it, and and taking back these lands you've lost and going yeah. moving forward. So then going backwards, even for a really good story, I feel like betrays the idea. And like the and ideal it, of destiny of like we've growing got a perfect as a party opportunity move to move forward. forward too, because you know the first three years of destiny have been all about you know like you know we're taking the offensive, you know we got the moon back, you know we fought off the taking king, you know we fought off Siva, we fought off Crota, you know like we have been making real moves, like we have been building our legend. What if Destiny Two was all about like whoa, <laughs> like yeah, we didn't even know the Cabal were you know could do this you know like all of a sudden we lose the tower we lose the last city we lose access to the Traveler like what like 
it could be the Empire Strikes Back of yeah. Destiny, right? That would be really, really <laughs> yeah, cool. absolutely. Be I mean, the Cabal, analogy. the Cabal is the only. I mean, it feels like the only race that could do that. I mean, they knocked a hole into the uh, the Dreadnought, yeah. yeah, and like set up base in there essentially. That we're the only. Yeah, the towers are the only people that can do that essentially. So it would make sense. We've that heard how powerful they are, yeah. but we've never seen it. Well, no, with, with the dreadnought, we dreadnought we saw. I want, I want they, they blow up planets because they're in their way. That's the quote we heard. They yeah. punched a little hole in the dreadnought. Right. Well, no, no, they were going to blow up the dreadnought. <laughs> we stopped they were. That with they the bomb didn't. brothers. We stopped. We stopped it. Yeah, because we were heroes, right? But the raid would have been so much easier moved, if it was just exploded. <laughs> <laughs> they, no they also works. did move Phobos. They they moved Phobos closer yeah. to Mars. So we've Damn. seen that happen. They got technology. They're pretty so yeah, they powerful. Could, yeah, they could take they're, over they're the tower. Be amazing. For sure. I, and I want to hear an Oompa Loompa song every time they they come into the room. <laughs> I just I, I see them and I just see them as large Oompa Loompas like the oh man. In, in original Destiny, one of my favorite memories of playing through it the first time was when you're playing in that mission, that first mission on Mars where you. You know, you see the cabal for the first time. That hangar door, your ghost fucks up. The hangar door opens. <laughs> he sets off an alarm, and all of a sudden, you hear that oh, epic yeah. music, and mm -hmm. the and the cabal start coming in and ships. Yeah. And you're like, whoa! Like it's they one of the best at you. Yeah, yeah. You pop, you pop your resupply codes. You farm them for glimmer for a few. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, you see quite it often afterwards. But you know, nobody, had nobody, nobody had a checkpoint. Like, uh, nobody had a gatekeeper checkpoint. That's why you had to farm that. <laughs> but I mean, like we had, we're getting. Yeah, they mentioned a battle in the hangar, right? Like this mm -hmm. is that's right. That's really cool. Um, they mentioned cruise, you know, Lord Shax and Zavala fighting, which right. we've never seen before. They've been just basically static characters. They've been pushing paper. As as yeah. And they mentioned two right. new enemy types: the the Bruiser, Cleavers, and the, yeah, yeah, and the and the Cabal Red Guard with furious cleavers. Which I don't know if it's a weapon or if it's a Subtype of enemy. It's I don't want to fight melee cabal. <laughs> I know, I feel right? like it's it's gonna be. I a feel new like that would be bad. A new melee exotic. We're gonna get a gigantic cleaver. <laughs> How about a yeah, giant dragon tooth? I will. Like I, I, I will say just as, as a quick aside for like the the time travel stuff. I think it'd be really cool to have some missions to where like maybe like via Vex Portal you go and see some stuff. But mm -hmm. I think. Like, minus that, I'd be kind of sad. Because I totally want to see, like, that... Because we, we've seen a lot about the Fallen. We've learned a lot from, like, Varix. We've learned plenty from, you know, like, Skolas and stuff like that. We've seen, you know, a lot of the Vex because of the main story and because of, like, both the Glass and then plenty of the Hive because of Crota and because of Oryx. So, like, the one group of folks we don't really have a really... We haven't had, like, a large confrontation with has been the Cabal. Mm -hmm. So unless they were going to introduce uh, a new species, a race, or uh, enemy type in Destiny 2, I feel like it just seems like all signs point to Cabal for Destiny 2, just because it's it's what we have left. Mm -hmm. Like, not that I'd be sad. I love the Vex. I would fight Vex <laughs> all the time. But, you know, just for the sake of kind of having, like, differentiating story and all that kind of stuff and diversity, like, I totally... I guess that's why it gives it so much gravity is because, like, it just seems like it... It reaffirms all the feelings I have about what I kind of envision Destiny 2 being. And I, I almost wonder if that's confirmation bias. Like, where it's just like, I'm seeing what I want to see. I see the Matrix. And, you know, getting a brain aneurysm and all that kind of stuff. Too, so. It could be, right? It could be. But <laughs> this leak feels real to me. It feels real it for sure. It feels real, especially with it being yep. a toy, right? Because yeah. all the other leaks, I'm like, hmm. But this kind of thing has looks happened fake before. As hell. <laughs> yes, it looks yeah. like fake as But this this feels pretty good. It does feel really good. It I almost feels like I, I that setup that you're talking about of like opening with Zavala and Shax fighting for the tower is really cool sounding. There's a little bit of me that says that maybe that's like a mini sign off mission of Destiny that sets up for Destiny Two. You know, because obviously maybe. They know what they're doing when it comes to marketing and how they do these leaks. So, they, like, 60% of me says they planned this, and then 40% it's like, well, maybe it was a mishap or mistake, you know? Um, so, it, it, it is in this universe that we're playing in right now. It, like you said, there's Ray's Lighter and all that. So, it, it does make me wonder if this is like a setup mission into the next story that unfolds with Destiny 2. Because, obviously, Destiny 2 is supposed to be 
after the you know after we lose all the cool stuff. Yeah, it's interesting. Well, I mean, it would make that. sense if it was a first if it was first cutscene. They would still have access to the vault. They would still have access to the year one, two, and three weapons. Mm -hmm. But then, as soon as that cutscene was over, the tower <laughs> and was destroyed. They're viciously torn <laughs> away from you, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And as as you they as commandeer your raise lighter. This is mine now. <laughs> <laughs> as the camera pans away, your vault crushes into the flames. That'd be perfect. With all of as your long as stuff. I, yeah. As long as as long as I have the stuff on me, I'm cool. Not my ghost ghost. <laughs> well, no, you're you're asleep when they attack, so you get up out of bed and you're just in your pajamas. I sleep with my gun, Pope. <laughs> Just saying. He's a hunter. <laughs> <laughs> All you get to keep is your throwing knife. I'm fine with that. I don't know. It's, double a, jump. it's a lot of cool stuff in there. I can't wait to learn more about who these Cabal Red Gar are. Mm. Uh, Gar. I can't wait to see if, if there Gar. is there a new Gar. is there going to be a new tank, you know, that like now troops come out of it? Like how that you can drive? That you can drive, oh, right? That your whole that it's a multi person Think Halo tank. tank. It's got like I a mean, yeah, dock, I was gonna say Bungie. You know, Bungie has like uh, you know vehicle knockouts and stuff like that. There, that's that they've done that in every Halo game where it's like, oh, you want to commandeer this ghost? You just punch him out of it and you just take it. <laughs> yeah, and yeah, somehow your Spartan knows how to drive it because magic. Magic. Yeah. Uh, you have the AI. Well, I guess in there I'd be AI like, knows. Yeah, AI. It does uh, be fact, magic though. The fact that, you know, it sets a scene for a clash between a bruiser's crushing strength and a master swordsman's skill. Like, this mm -hmm. bruiser does sound like it's going to be some kind of a, you know, a melee, a big melee kind of crushing, lumbering, you know, cabal. I love it. I don't want that. <laughs> <laughs> and they also have a giant shield that you can't shoot. Yeah, it's unbreakable. <laughs> uh, the Red Guard definitely would sound like something that a that would lead up to a raid. You know, go dismantle the Red Guard in this mm. epic battle of a raid and all that. So it it fits the bill uh, for for Destiny. It's just I want to see Destiny two, and I want to make sure that mm -hmm. we're getting an awesome new experience. I don't want the same experience. You know, like yeah. I, I don't want another expansion. Well, we're not going to know that until they show it. See, yeah, and, the, and that's and that's the interesting thing you mentioned earlier about like it being kind of like maybe an opening mission like to where like it's like the epilogue of destiny one to mm -hmm. where like mm -hmm. once the game's out or let's say the week before it's out you get to play a couple missions with let's say with zavala or with that kind of stuff where you lose the tower um games have done that before like uh i'm a big fan of final fantasy 14 but before the server shut off in 1.0 oh my god there is this, the there's the battle of cartano and basically this giant moon descends, this giant dragon pops out of it, and then like it just obliterates the land. If but, you, it, and that's one of the most amazing cutscenes too in any yeah, game, it's great. by the way, since you know that and then, it is played when the server shut down. Just go and go then find on YouTube. Yeah, please. It's really good. And then basically when 2.0 finally came out, it continued from there. So it's definitely something to where people have ended games with like a with you know big epic cataclysmic cliffhangers before and especially in and even and i guess the reason why i mentioned final fantasy is because even in games that have like a perpetual life world that has still happened because so i guess mm -hmm. that's like the big difference because a game yeah. like uncharted where it's like oh there's gonna be uncharted 3 it's like oh of course and it's not that big of a deal but a game like destiny to where you know your character persists and all these things continue to happen it's definitely more of a of like a oh shit kind of moment you have much more attachment to what's going on yeah mm -hmm. Yeah. But what it what so for the cabal? Let's think of the logistics of this. For the cabal to attack the last safe city, right? The tower. Let's say just the tower, mm -hmm. not the city proper. Doesn't the doesn't the traveler protect the city? Traveler dormant. Traveler also abandoned the fallen. Traveler so, is a big question mark. <laughs> <laughs> that he has a big question mark how much the traveler protects us. <laughs> right. So I'm just thinking about the role of the traveler in this and what's going to have to happen for the cabal to take over a tower. They have to maybe want we to. Maybe we spend a game the where. They have to want we, to. <laughs> maybe we spend an entire game where we're, we don't have access to the traveler. You know, maybe that's yeah. our goal is to fight our way back to the city. Maybe that's Destiny 2, you know, like. We're fighting to get the city back, to get Earth cool back. Idea. We go inside you know, the we, we meet up with those folks, because, uh, like, if you read the Lysidens Cry uh, grimoire, 
you know, all that kind of stuff. You hear about these folks that that didn't, they were, they were, you know, they left the city and they didn't agree with a lot of stuff happening. What if we, you know, we go and find those folks? We're like, hey, uh, I, I feel like that's been hinted you fucked at. up. Yeah, yeah, I feel like that's been bit. heavily <laughs> hinted at because uh, we have the Lysander's cry or the Lysander uh, thing. We also have Lady Efforty, uh yeah, coming yeah, back she who, yeah. who yeah. has been heavily hinted that there's other people outside of you know kind of the system yeah. guardians A bigger, out there. Expansive world with more mm -hmm. NPCs and missions to do. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Mm. They're that peaceful. Maybe peaceful there's guardians. more social spaces. <laughs> mm. Yeah. Yeah. Social spaces. Yeah. 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 Hmm. Yeah, all this stuff is really exciting. It's it's enough. So it's one of those perfect leaks, I think, where it's it's just a taste. It's not, mm -hmm. you know, it's not enough to really know what you're you're looking at, but it's enough to it's really good. imagine. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I know what you I mean. Stuff like this. Yeah, me mm -hmm. too. It's very exciting. Uh, I think I think re regardless for me as a player, like I know there's been a lot of discussion about whether or not we keep everything and stuff like that, but I, I guess I just don't see a way that we can go into Destiny Two without being, you know. Metroided, you know, where we go in with our full power suit of armor, <laughs> but as soon as you land on, you know, wherever planet you are, you lose everything somehow, and you have to go yeah. back and get everything. That doesn't make those games bad, like because I, I think that's a strong point of like the Metroid series is like because it's always interesting and you know you start you get stronger. It's always the quest of getting stronger, and same with Destiny. It's always increasing your light level, getting better gear. The only thing I would be sad about is I know there's been people don't really know about the future with your character. Mm -hmm. I would be so sad if nothing I did in Destiny 1 mattered. I don't yeah. have to be given all my gear and all my weapons, but, like, if my Grimoire went away and there was no proof of anything that I've done, mm -hmm. like, I would I would still play the game because I love this game, but I feel like I would feel so disheartened thinking, like... Because I definitely didn't waste my time playing this game. I love this game. Mm -hmm. But I felt like, you know, it's just... It's just a kick, a kick in the nads, almost, where it's like... I want I want my emblems and maybe a few ships, maybe just emblem shaders. Something. I'd be happy with yeah. the Grimoire. I'd honestly that'd be yep. enough. I me. feel the same way. That way it's like, oh, that will guys a year one player or a, a Destiny 1.0 player. How do I know? Because their Grimoire scar is fucking stupid. That's how I know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, just like just like you said, shaders, emblems, something that says, I was there for year one. I brought my character through yep. it. We fought through the original story and now we're here. We the need Black something. Smith shader is going to be the only one. Yeah. That we <laughs> I, I I feel like it's a requirement. Yeah, I feel like I, feel I like can't it say is. it is because I'm going to play it regardless. But like, as just as a game, as a gamer, not even as a streamer, just as someone who enjoys Destiny, I feel like it is a requirement. Well, you've oh, got no, to I, I've got the books right, yeah. so we've got the books that we've completed. Yeah. for year one and year two, that sh that should give us within our character something unique. For this new game, right? That's what yeah. we're saying. Yeah. That could be a vehicle for them doing that. The completion could of be. those yeah. books is a way of, of giving you that unique. Definitely could be, yeah. <laughs> I want I, mean, I want really big World of Warcraft pauldrons that glow. That's what I really want. <laughs> Just want the giant nice. Just shoulder pads everywhere walking yeah. around. I think we feel this way, though, because of the talk about how it's going to be a new new game. Like a new setup and new all this stuff. So that's yeah. why the, like we want some sort of attachment to the, the time that we've spent in the game. Uh, but at the same time, we all want a brand new type of experience. So I think yeah. it's it's a tough one for the uh, for Bungie to make sure they balance it correctly. You know, with the with those rewards and what type of stuff to reward a year one player. But at the same time, they don't want to alienate new people coming to Destiny 2 either. So I, I definitely think, don't want. I, think, I don't want weapons moving forward. I honestly, no. I really no, no, don't. me neither. I do I not want to see the the last word in Thorn and all those weapons being used in Destiny Two. I want a fresh start. Yeah. I want you know everything that Bungie has learned in the last three years about balancing weapons and creating weapons. I want that them to be able to take a fresh start moving forward in how they develop games for Des or weapons for Destiny Two. I don't really care about armor. <laughs> they just need to do like a little nod, a little nod to the guys that play through Destiny One, yeah. just so, just so you know, it's Maybe people a, like having that stuff. A brand new emblem for anybody who you know got all three years of your, uh, what is it, moments of triumph awards, yeah. You know, yeah, like something like that. That would be great. I'd be happy with that. Anybody that has over two thousand hours played gets a order a shirt saying, "I spent." 2,000 hours uh, on Destiny. And so why doesn't got. this time wasted on Destiny have shirts available? I don't know. <laughs> I mean, I would order one. I would order one that said your the amount of oh, hours man. that you've played. The it's amount of idea. characters you've deleted. 
Pope Pope Casual Bear with two thousand plus hours. <laughs> um, totally casual. So <laughs> Patrick, you mentioned um, the Toy Fair. There's another thing Destiny related that's going to be unveiled at that Toy Fair. McFarland yeah, I saw that. Toys mm-hmm. is uh, you know kind of they're teasing that they've got something Destiny related. They they showed a picture of a Gallahorn on their website and said you know we'll see you at Toy Fair kind of a thing. So that could be cool. They they make really cool resin figures like that kind of thing, like really mm-hmm. highly detailed stuff. So. That could be interesting. Yeah. So the weekly update also came out this week, and uh, I think we were all kind of expecting this. We have mm-hmm. actual dates yep. for the hotfix and uh, also the stream for the I was surprised hotfix. they dated the hotfix. I knew they would date the stream, but I was surprised they dated the hotfix. I figured it was seems coming. Seems like they're ready to go. They're oh, ready yeah. to get Yeah, it, it seems like they just wanted to, they wanted to tell us something was going to happen, but... I feel like if they're if they're ready to show it, that means they they have a date for it. They're ready yeah. to put it out. Yeah, that's true. And they're so, February fourteenth too. February fourteenth. Fourteenth yeah. for the patch. Day. The eighth for the stream. They'll be showing it yes. off on the stream at ten a.m. Pacific, one p.m. Eastern, on uh, Bungie's Twitch page. Uh, they'll be doing kind of one of their live stream crucible updates. Last time they invited a bunch of PvP players and kind of they were showing it off, right? Mm-hmm. That could be interesting well, well, for the hotfix. Uh, yeah, for, for the hotfix. weapon update that happened in they sh- the they showed summer. they showed private matches, but I think that was the last thing oh. since like yeah they I haven't dived they, in, were... they haven't dove into a hot no it's before like the this. April update it was the, before the April, April update, update it was for the Sun Singer changes and they showed off the changes to the Void Walker mm-hmm. they were showing the I think Thomas. that was just Bungie folks wasn't it yeah that, like, yeah, that, 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 that was only that was that was only Bungie people there. So it should be cool to see them talk about, for me, it's going to be exciting to see them talk about how they envision us fighting with specific characters amongst each other, like their vision for different classes Mm -hmm. and and how we are to engage with each other. I think that hearing a combat designer talk about that kind of stuff can be really interesting. Oh, yeah. They do that. At the very least, it's eye-opening, because I think the... The biggest like disconnect, at least for at least from the Crucible folks, it seems, is a lot of few people feel like they uh, either you know they 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 think they know better, they have a better solution, all that kind of stuff. Um, which whether that's that's I'm not that's not a it's not an argument. It's people have opinions. Yeah. But I think that maybe seeing where Bungie's come from with a lot of these changes, you know, on stream verbally being like, all right, so we have this uh, weapon type doing this specific thing because we want to fill this role. And you're absolutely allowed to disagree with that, but for the most part, it's kind of up in the air to where it's like, uh, is it broken? Is it is it is it bugged? Or is it just like they hate my favorite weapon type? It's just it's always like a lot of unknowns. Because yeah. a lot of players want to play Destiny competitively, but if you don't I think a lot of that and the thing preventing Destiny from maybe hitting that point of like competition is that a lot of the players understand the the game vision. And because there's not a lot of talk about what their vision of the Crucible is for even because the more you know, the more they can adapt. But mm-hmm. it's kind of up in the air right now. For I feel what, like they've changed that too. Point. Like their vision has yeah. changed as they've it gone seems over like time. It. Definitely, yeah. yeah. Well, it's because they. I mean, when, when a game like Destiny comes out to where it's kind of like a mix of like 15 million genres and it's never been done before, you can't really plan for what people are going to do. You know, you have let's say know about Titan skating. Uh, until yeah. yeah, like you have yeah. like a thousand hours of QA, but then like the moment it goes live in the first hour, you like you that's it's Blue it's, it's a factor it's just, of like it's ten just numbers. Yeah, the play numbers. Yeah, yeah. Right. it's impossible to play test that much. Yeah. The good news is something's going to change, and anything changing, yeah. I think, is a good thing. <laughs> I agree. Yeah, this anything. Point, yes, anything. Yep. <laughs> yeah, I think it's the, the common yeah. question, and I'll ask everybody. But and uh, do you think anything extra will come in the hot fix? Because Chad always no. asks that question no. of what changed. No, no, no. What actually changed? I, I think whatever gets changed in the hot fix will be documented, and anything else that's mm-hmm. unchanged is either a bug or your own yeah. mind just there's gonna be bugs we know that they're, <laughs> oh, yeah. they're gonna That'll break happen. something something's gonna happen <laughs> but it's i love these streams i absolutely love these streams you get an insight into what's happening and more importantly why it's happening because mm-hmm. a lot of the time they'll put out a patch note and we're like what why would you do that 
So it's really nice to know the thought process behind yeah. the changes that they make. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So I'm super mm -hmm. excited for it. Yeah, if they're doing a stream and then announcing the patch and all that, it seems like it's going to be a decent patch. So before, yeah. by the, the, the talk, it seemed like, okay, there's going to be some surgical stuff change here and there, but maybe don't expect much. But now there's a stream involved. I'm actually, I'm expecting a lot of things to change. And if they don't there was deliver... A well, yeah, but not to this degree where they were like putting on a thing where they want to like tell you and be like, okay, look at this. What else? Look what at else this meta change. What else would they do on a stream? Just go over the patch notes? Just... Yeah. Honestly. <laughs> no, they could. I, I mean, that is. I don't know. I was expecting stream. They're going to they're gonna do the PvP thing again that they did last time. But yeah, sorry, continue. No, I mean, with the way they've communicated with us in the, in the past six months. I did not expect that at all. I expected like, hey, here's what's happened. We decided to change these things. Thanks for playing our game, you know. But now that they're Thanks hyping, for yeah, <laughs> basically. But now that they're like Bye -bye. hyping, they're hyping up a stream and all that. Like, if they don't drop some major changes, I'm going to be disappointed. <laughs> you know what I mean? So hopefully, hopefully they deliver some interesting meta shift uh, or ship shakeups. You know? Yeah, definitely. I'd love to go start grinded for new weapons, mm -hmm. you know, like or not new weapons, but weapons that weren't in the meta and I've been dismantling for the last year. Yeah, considering half. that you deleted <laughs> like ninety percent of your vault, well, you're gonna be grinding for whatever comes out, so you're good. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It'll be interesting to at least see. It'll be fun to experiment. That I mean, first week is fun. We we can oh, expect an iron so banner, good. I'm sure, shortly after that patch. Uh so that'll be a fun iron banner. It's a big breath of fresh air, for sure. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it is. Yeah, everyone, everyone is testing stuff out. You have all these streams that are like testing out the patch, trying to see what's really good, and everyone's watching them because they're like go bouncing between all the different streamers, seeing what they're using. It's just such an exciting time. I love that just moment of discovery of mm -hmm. what's mm -hmm. good. I love it so much. What I'm what I'm going to be excited for is the lack of videos of people. You know, the sorrowful music of them deleting their matador. I don't, as much as like the child inside of me wants to see those tears never get being shed, I don't think that's not what I want. I want the people that use the matador to still be able to use it, mm -hmm. but then the people that want to ship to another sidearm or sniper or fusion rifle that population splits over and starts to use that and it becomes equally as effective at killing at that range and so you've got this uh meta shift in that way not that we see people just saying "Mo, my matador is not useless anymore well i don't want to see that <laughs> as much as i want to i almost feel like that's the impossible dream at this point <laughs> like it's, we it's wanted awesome. that well you know, we want total I mean, balance but it seems like it's just out of reach in this game yeah, it's an impossible dream, even in competitive shooters that are designed mm -hmm. that way. Like Overwatch goes through patching process all the time because it is it is literally impossible to one make everybody happy, and two to have it be perfect for everyone's play style. So like, yep. there may be a situation where supports are always going to be you know weak in a specific situation, but the people who love playing support don't want that. They want to feel str they want to they want to play their best regardless of what's happening. And um, because of that, I just I just, I don't know. I don't think any game is ever going to find that sweet spot. Yeah. Um, the best you can do is constantly update to where you don't feel the staleness as often. Yeah, yeah. That's exactly. probably about that, as close Overwatch to does a great job of that. And it, it absolutely does. And, and the thing that I, I always want to make sure Destiny folks understand is like that's what Overwatch was made to be. Yeah. And Overwatch doesn't have a PvE side, and they're dedicated for it to be a competitive shooter. So, like, to have. Not not that like it's not a good example to be like, oh, I, I like these features in Overwatch, but just keep in mind that Destiny is much more than that. So diverting all resources to competitive crucible would mean that you might never ever get a raid again and stuff like that. <laughs> so yeah. mm -hmm. just try your best to have perspective on the whole situation. Is yeah. why I always Nah, approach. I don't feel like doing that. It's <laughs> not my job. I can't be level headed or I'm on break. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man. Uh, man, yeah. So we got a. We also found out that um, there was a couple exciting things happening um, with the live stream, but then there was also some basic maintenance reports that came out, but nothing really to, you know, 
earth shattering some skeleton they're still looking into things skeleton keys missing and things like that the thing that they advise people is to make sure that they leave space in their in their inventories if you've got you know skeleton keys missing basically we know something's wrong but we 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 don't have a fix for it yet so okay be it. prepared yeah. don't max out <laughs> your yeah. Yeah. we're looking through leave. this spaghetti code but we haven't found it yet yeah <laughs> it, for Things anyone uh, wondering what for anyone wondering what the actual thing is uh the it's like uh occasionally the keys from the raid uh will get deleted skeleton keys will occasionally just get deleted randomly it's they don't know what's causing it but we, the community knows an issue bundy knows an issue it's kind of like heavy ammo. Everyone knows it's an issue. The yep. fix will it will happen when it happens. Um, I'd recommend never capping your skeleton keys on a character. If you get five, yeah. go and spend a key. Mm -hmm. Please. <laughs> I pretty much just started Please. spending them as soon as I get them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I just yeah. I keep four in each character and five in the vault, and I haven't had a problem yet. People were people were saying that it's an issue where if a key gets sent to the vault and you log out. There is a really sorry to your postmaster get logged out. There's a really weird, funky thing that happens where that character and that key are just like all those keys are just gone for some reason. So mm -hmm. that's why try if you have keys somewhere, find them, spend them. Yeah, spend them. Just yeah. Yep. Spend. And I mean, then we I'm got glad a... they buffed the key drop rate, so now that we can just randomly have them. Oh yeah. Needed. <laughs> I got I got a key for every single nightfall I did this week. It was bonkers. I was so nice. surprised. Wow, oh, nice. Every single one. Oh nice. So I got I got four total because I got one for free, and then yeah. each time we killed the boss, it dropped. And I was like, "Damn, oh, that's nice." nice. I got a lot of stolen wills. <laughs> <laughs> and then we also had a really cool movie of the week drop. It reminded me. It's called The Titan Bowl, and it reminded me of the days when Halo used to have. Well, reminded me when I used to play Halo, and you had custom game modes and these community events and like Griff Ball and things like that happen in the machinima that came from that so titan bowl was created by the rezocast guys and it's a just a game mode where a bunch of titans where you could only kill with shoulder charge play a game of rift and i played a game with them and i haven't laughed that hard playing I, destiny ever i just more than just the game mode up. the the video oh. itself i thought was expertly done because they right. at first it feels like an mfl films production right it's got that epic music and like the announcer and like you're you're like you know how an nfl film even if you're not a football fan like mm -hmm. those things kind of get you excited to watch whatever's coming next and then it turns into like a destiny montage and then there's like announcers and color commentary like it <laughs> it's a beautiful it's a really well edited video as well it's just an entertaining video to watch it definitely is our movie of the week oh yeah it was really good Nice, if yeah. you haven't checked it out, make sure to jump over there and uh, look at it. It's it's fun. It gives you an idea. I love it because it gives you an idea of something that you can play easily with your friends. And I can tell you that it, it's just a blast. We um, we played a bunch, three or four games back to back, and I my sides were hurting. I was laughing so much and having fun. So, and I, I, that's what games are about. So that's yep. that's just what got me excited about fun. it. All right, anything else from the weekly update? I don't think so. Things uh, something that you still haven't seen the last from the live team is how mm -hmm. he signs off on this thing. So, oh yeah, there's more there's gonna coming. Be an, there's going to be an uh, we think spring update. Well, there's going to be a spring. spring update. That's yeah. right. Which I'm assuming is April. Yeah, we're just we'll, just, we'll, we'll call. Can we just call it April update? April, April update. They did April update. Once you come out in like two. Can we do it? <laughs> no, that's too we'll, confusing. <laughs> okay, whatever. We'll call it the spring update. We'll oh, April about in April. Too. <laughs> What's another strike that they're gonna make? Taken. <laughs> I mean, they've all seen all the strikes now. Yeah, aren't they Is done with the strikes? No, you know <laughs> they could they could take in one of the Siva strikes. Uh, the only strike left Please is no. I mean, <laughs> the only Siva. The Did only Siva strike the left is <laughs> the yeah. only strike Rep left is Repli Crota's replicating end. scions is that has retaliation <laughs> yeah. shots when you headshot them. Maybe Crota's <laughs> end is getting Siva. Yeah, by. yeah, yeah the, only, the only strike left is Crota's end. Crota's end should be included into the heroic playlist now. Mm -hmm. Oh right. my god, you guys are funny. <laughs> <laughs> wrecked, <laughs> absolutely wrecked. <laughs> a family, so is it that time, Briar? Briar. I think so, right? What do you think? No. Briar. Briar. That, it's actually time. Tell us about Patrick. Patrick, what do you do? We have time. Time for what? 
Of course, we have time to talk about these awesome blue mics that we're using. They're they're wild, and they're also headphones. And we're they're just some of the iconic gear the blue creates. Blue's award-winning products are the driving force behind professional musicians, internet creators, and countless elite gaming teams and Twitch streamers. Their Yeti USB mic is the internet's most popular microphone, and their MoFi and Lola headphones deliver insane sound and a very personalized fit. Blue offers everything you need to completely immerse yourself in the ultimate gameplay experience. Learn more about Blue at BlueMic.com. Nailed yeah. it. Nailed it. <laughs> Excellent work, Patrick. <laughs> All right, we got some Twitter questions. We got some good questions this week, too. When I was going through them, I was... I was laughing. Uh, Edmund Young says, who on the pag- podcast looks the most delicious to you? This one's specifically for T-Rex. <laughs> who looks the most delicious? <laughs> you are a dinosaur. I think that's what they're going. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, maybe that's true. That's true. All right, next You're question. Have Destiny, to answer this question. <laughs> <laughs> Destiny Charles report says, if you were given the task of assigning a challenge mode for this week's Trials of Osiris, what oh. would you make it? Oh. A challenge this is mode. Actually, this is actually really good because maybe they'll take our idea and they'll mm. use it for this weekend. Mm-hmm. I challenge you to have the map be on Burning Shrine. <laughs> Boring. <laughs> yeah. uh, the challenge. I, I want. I'm going to go Drake's Promise. Drake's Promise only. Yes. Can we? I'm a master of Drake's Promise. Let's do that. Oh, there you go. There you go. <laughs> See if yep, you could. If, I approve. Yep. Yeah. Yep. If they could do stuff like that, where it's it, it limits the type of weapons and type of things that you could do. I would love to see. Uh, I've been talking about like manufacturer burns in um, in Nightfalls and Heroic Strikes and all that. It would be great to have something where it's like you can only use Omelon weapons in uh, in like trials or something like that. Like, oh, that'd be cool. Yeah, so you could actually have to look look for those type of weapons to use them. Hmm. I challenge you to not use scories as well. Like different <laughs> artifacts are available. So. <laughs> I told you, I use similars. I don't want to burn. I don't want to burn, man. It's the worst. Apply similar (laughs) for the burn. Exactly. Directly, (laughs) directly to the forehead. (laughs) (laughs) Absolutely. I don't know. Um, I'm trying to think of a good challenge that you would have to do in-game that's realistic for them to do. Um, Something to do with the revives, revive timers, or uh, the amount of revives you can do. Well, they can't change that. I think this is coming from Destiny Trials report, right? It's like this yeah. would be Main a break. You know, this would be a bow only. Yeah. It'd be fun. There you go. What? If, what if we just do the Prison of Elders weapons only? I, hey, okay, I got fun. one. I got one. I challenge. I challenge everyone out there to not use shotguns to see if we can actually make shotguns not appear as used as they are in trials. Oh, Try to snap. skew the I have been, not I have been to this podcast. <laughs> with fusion rifles. It's been bad. On my bungee bounty, I only used fusions. It was awesome. I, I actually had, I apparently have a vigil on my Xbox character that is really stupid, and it was great. <laughs> I map people from space. It was awesome. <laughs> Vigil's I think, dumb. I, love I think fusion rifle only or kills is is a great idea. No no shotguns, no snipers, no sidearms. Fusion just, rifles. Fusions are just fun, man. They're just they're fun. I love like I love seeing someone who just like blinks above me with a shotgun. They're like ten feet, and I just swap my plan C, and I'm like, you fucked up, and then just <laughs> blow them away. I, I like the death so animation good. too. How you kind of like get like disintegrated and then it float upwards. Yeah, yeah. Cool. yeah. Looking weightless. The vooping, the vooping is real. Mm-hmm. Uh, Unicron says two content droughts, two years running, and twenty weeks since the last balance patch. How did everything derail again? So is it really derailing when this is following like the exact same course of action? I mean, this this uh, is right. I think the content drought that we're in is very much related to the content drought we were in last year. It's this, this is all like about expected. the delay of Destiny Two. This is maybe ex- we should yeah. expected. Maybe we yeah. should drop our expectations down of the of the con- types. No, of we can't do that now. ever, ever. <laughs> okay, <laughs> sorry. Ever. I just want I to remind everybody. Did you know that Bungie's making another game right now? No, Please? they haven't talked what about game? it. No I don't believe way. it exists. <laughs> no, what? No, what? no one said anything to us, so we don't even know. <laughs> yeah, we have no idea. 
there. That's you know what Luke Smith is working on a different game of Bungie right now. <laughs> Unknown title is actually Unknown uh, title. Guys, they're gonna, I, yep. guys, he's title. actually Club Penguin Two. Club <laughs> Penguin. That's that exactly down. what I was thinking of. We gotta <laughs> we gotta support our Reddit folks, man. Yeah. We're, Luke Smith wow. is reviving Club Penguin right now. Yeah, there we he's, go. he's figuring <laughs> it out. Do you guys man. think that uh, Activision will say that Destiny Two is coming out? in 2017 on their earnings call I like investors so. want to know think they're right gonna, they're yeah. gonna mention if it's on track for something they're not gonna but say you don't think they'll say 2017 no nah, because I, i'm pretty sure that's a marketing thing that they want to control so they they're gonna tell them what mm-hmm. they can say about the the fiscal year potential you know meaning yeah Yo, it's some, on track someone, and we're excited about it get stock in activision and then get in on that earnings call and then start asking questions Ask the hard hitting questions, <laughs> like are we uh, are we gonna have more vault space? What's up <laughs> with storm caller melees? <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Uh, <laughs> Rezo Lego says, "What's the one gun slash armor piece in your vault that you never use but you refuse to shard?" All the it's 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 actually all the Imago loop rolls that are really <laughs> really good, like. Outlaw luck in the chamber, outlaw reactive reload, and all of them have hammer forged. Like basically, it's just a, a bunch of god roll imagos, various god rolls that don't have rifled barrel. Mm. I and I refuse to shard any of them because if they ever make it so hand cannons aren't one hundred percent reliant on having a max range stat, mm. then it's like great. I will have a bunch of hand cannons to use. Until then, these are just. Legendary marks in 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 the hammer forged isn't bad on that weapon. It's not bad. No. It's not bad, but it's not rifle barrel. It's not rifle barrel, but it's, it's not, not bad. rifle barrel. <laughs> no. There's a very specific role for hand cannons. You must mm-hmm. have it. Sure. Yep. I got a I got a bunch of fusion rifles that I got rolls that I just don't use. You, I, I can't everything. wait. I can't. I can't wait to bring them out. Yeah. There is no weapon that's off limits for me. I still have my year one shadow price. It was the first legendary I ever got. I still have it. I don't nice. apparently share that sentimentality. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's why you don't have to have I, dreams where other people clear. I mean, hey, <laughs> yeah, listen, I, I do that off stream or when I do it on stream, people get mad at me and I'm like, I just don't care. Like, I'm not going to use this. And I'm like, because like the thing at this point, I've collected everything there is to collect. Minus like, because there's some ships I can't get because selling and stuff like that. And, like, I just don't care about sparrows. But, like, I have, I'm pretty sure, except for one or two emblems, every emblem, I have, like, every single shader. I have all the exotics, including the ones that you get from leveling up the factions for each character. I wouldn't recommend doing that. It's not fun. Uh, so, like, at this point, like, I don't care, man. Every, like, I have everything. Who oh, T-Rex, look, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm going to challenge you on that sparrow thing. I just don't care. Couple, oh, boy. Uh, like, oh, no, no, no. The sound of you <laughs> taking off with your sparrow, and the, and each one has a subtle, like, there's some that have unique sounds to them. And I have a void one that has the void ball sitting in between. And when that thing, when you take off, it's like... <laughs> it sounds like a pod racer. Yeah, it's yeah, pod awesome. Racer. All right, I get it. You don't like that stuff. But for me, <laughs> it's so cool to hear the, the vibrations. Fine. All right. <laughs> I'm just not doing it. I'm not doing it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not doing lost. it. He's lost. I'm not All doing right. it. All right, fine. I have I have dumped up. enough time doing really stupid shit to extend my play of the game. I think I'm gonna draw the line at <laughs> buying fifteen or twenty blue sparrows to then put shit into to to buy their uh, plasma drives and put them in. Uh, I and think that's for what me, makes this community awesome is that everybody loves different <laughs> things like that. That's true, actually. People like totally different things. Oh. Um, I have a is it three little words? Yeah, I have my three little words pulse rifle that I would never get rid of. It's a slow firing one, so it's like not that good right now. But it's from right from the beginning of the game. Love it so much. Keep it forever. I remember those. Mm-hmm. Uh, Cameron Rice says, are there any maps that you used to love and have grown to hate or vice versa? Maps that you used to hate but have grown to love. Hmm. Hmm. I don't I think, think so, I've, actually. I think I've always hated the, is it the cauldron? The one where you spawn like yeah. a light year away from the... No. Oh, no. Yeah, that map. I hate that map. Oh. No. Uh, <laughs> cathedral. Cathedral. Yeah. Cathedral. 
Cathedral yeah, of I mean, Dusk. Come, I mean, come on. It's the two yeah, maps in one map. I, I think my yeah. my first impression of maps is generally the same impression I'm going to have two years later. Uh, I When I played Black Shield for the first time, I was like, wow, that skybox looks really cool. Too bad about all these doors. Uh, so, actually, that map, I hated initially because I was playing a lot of Trials on it, and it was uh-huh. really annoying in Trials. But in other game modes, as I started playing that map in other game modes, that map actually would apply to that because I like playing it in Control. I like playing it in, you know, other like it's especially actually a 6v6 really fun riff map. Yeah, it is a good riff map. Yeah, it is. It is know, actually in Trials, it is hot garbage. Like, oh, awful! Yeah. It. Yep. Man, Black Shield. I I I hated Black Shield for a very long time. Still hate Black Shield. <laughs> good call. Good call. I think most of like, the maps I've like started hated or started off loving, and I'm like, nope, still the same. Hasn't changed. <laughs> Hasn't changed one bit. Like, exactly. It's just the thing with Black Shield is like without an objective, Black Shield is just garbage because people just sit in the with the doors in the middle and they have fire. They they have height on you, so it's just like. Yeah. I think but. it's gonna be guys. I think it's gonna be Black Shield tomorrow. No. Oh, but, but now no. we have scories. It's going to be so much worse. No. It's okay. I'll just be playing Ghost Recon Wildlands. Yeah, right. Uh, Wildlands, here I come. <laughs> oh, I don't have a beta. Oh. Rip. Rip. Kirby El Toro said, who would win in a 1v1, T-Rex or Professor Broman? Me. <laughs> oh, oh, no hesitation. no hesitation there. Is ben would agree with me. <laughs> I've been being I've been beating my brother at games since I was like ten. <laughs> are, are you the ben younger? Ben taught or the me how to play brother? chess and then stopped playing with me once I started beating him. Are, are you <laughs> the younger or the older brother? I'm the younger brother. Ooh, that's even worse for him. Oof. It's no, it's okay. He can beat the shit out of me. It's fine. Younger it's brothers like... <laughs> are better at are just smarter. They have to learn how to make their way in the world with this. Are you bully... a younger brother, Pope Bear? Maybe. <laughs> but yes i am and it, we just t- come out smarter man we have to you know we don't get the the world handed to us by our parents <laughs> to, to everyone in chat saying i'm biased no that's not called bias that's called 25 years of life experience that's called facts <laughs> right <laughs> pure facts if i was gonna have to bet on one of you guys i would honestly pick t i would what it's game are we time. talking about? It's like one v one. Are we talking about just one v one bar not. fight? Yeah, I know, but what? What like? Oh, just... in a bar fight, I'd pick. I'd pick Ben. <laughs> I'd pick Ben too. <laughs> 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 All, right. All right. All right. Evan Meyer says, "What are your thoughts on Bungie adding a strike boss playlist for rewards in Destiny Two? The farther you go, the harder the strike gets, and if you die, you can't respawn until the next boss round." If the whole fire team dies, you'll start over. Like a boss rush mode. Yeah, but it's got to have... As you progress. It, it's it's like got to have forward. really good rewards associated. You know, like yeah. unique things I that mean, you can only that get was, from that, that mode. The, probably the biggest problem with like PoE is that the rewards never felt good enough for the time investment. So it just kind of mm-hmm. felt like a chore. It did feel like a chore. I, or, or, the, or when you can only get rewards once that it was per week. The same every time I did it. it was yeah, like, the enemies spawned in the same spots with the same burns. It was like it just. Felt I think so. Repetitive. I think challenge is close. Like challenge is getting closer to what I want out of that type of game mode. Just not quite there yet. Yeah, yeah, I would agree. It, it, they're moving in the right direction, but they're definitely not there. The, the, I, I feel like the best form of Prison of Elders was just the the level twenty, the strike version where you could queue in and it would match you it would match make you with people mm-hmm. because it was always different like it would be a different boss in the arena it would and it would be in a different order it just yeah like it, it, only i like that is it was too yeah. easy and the yeah it was, it was just stupidly good. easy so it didn't yeah. matter what the order i like was. evan's idea though because as you stay in there it just gets progressively harder yeah no, yeah. that'd be yeah. cool and like you know, like basically it's the greater r- rifts but with strikes. See, that's you know, what yeah, I want to see. And, I want to see greater yeah. type of stuff coming in. You get into zombies. Destiny. The zombie modes that one of the things that I really enjoy about zombies is the is the round challenge, right? And as you get you, the longer Call you of stay Duty. in Call of Duty, right? Zombies. Um is is that challenge to see how you can get to the farthest elite round. Mm-hmm. Um something like that in strikes would be awesome. And you could see it would count like a, a 
strike counter on the bottom. And you get to a point where maybe you could do like 10 strikes and they add a modifier every um, strike, an additional modifier. And so you get to a point where maybe you get to an elite level or elite mode and you can do a strike with all modifiers active. True what was goal. the halo? Right. So everything on Firefight. there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Firefight. And kind of do that concept. I think it would be really yeah. cool for that it would group be cool. of people that really. You just, and you just hate yourself, man. Did you guys, what was the achievement called? Where it was like getting like to set three or set five on the heroic uh, firefight mode. Is <laughs> that marathon? No, it wasn't marathon, but that was on ODST, and I remember yeah. getting that. We spent the actual winning attempt was like two hours, but all the attempts before that, it's it is brutal. That was just because like animal conservation becomes such a huge problem because enemies are just like, I don't fucking care about any bullets ever. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but it was. But I will say there is Take there's not many moments in, in video games to where when I saw that achievement pop up that I was just like flipping a table out of excitement like i was so happy to be well, like and that's what the vehicles were done you needed the vehicles you needed to utilize mm -hmm. the map you needed to utilize like your teammates and just really make sure to together. try and not get like you want to hit you want to hit the hammer brute like and squish them but you want to make sure they don't smack you in the process they break mm -hmm. your uh you know break your warthog or whatever using to, to smash them down <laughs> I mean, and doe is the endure achievement that achievement sucked <laughs> <sighs> uh, Jewelcom said, "Fight in Ahamkara slash Worm or meet Osiris in Destiny 2 I have vexed me and Osiris. Cereal. Pour <laughs> in the cereal bowl first. I want to fight dragons. Yeah, dragons I wanna, definitely. I want to know about Osiris, man. Yeah, Osiris yeah, is interesting. Well, why don't, why don't dragons? Why don't you... Osiris is a dragon? Ahamkara is both worlds. There, that's he's a true. talking dragon. He's, that's why he was Parthenox. excommunicated because he's a dragon. It's Parthenax <laughs> Dovahkiin. <laughs> you You're go to the night house. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Michael Fontana oh. Four says, "How does the DCP crew feel about a Destiny movie or TV show? If it's good, if it's bad, then <laughs> if no." It's if yeah. it's fantastic. Yes. Yeah, that lines up with how I feel, I think. <laughs> yeah. If it's good, I think I'll like it. If it's bad, I don't think I will. Yeah, I'd rather forget about it, you know? <laughs> I think they should just take um, all the cast from Firefly, rehire them, and rename the show Destiny. <laughs> I'd watch it. Yeah. I would watch it. <laughs> uh, Dermal Artist says, do you think it would be good for Bungie to implement a community test environment like DICE did with Battlefield 4. It helped a ton. Depends. Yeah, it depends on how it's implemented. Like, they would have to up the cadence of all their releases and everything, too. Which, that sounds good. <laughs> yeah, it sounds good, but are they <laughs> capable of doing it? Well, the thing, well not, too, even, not even that. Like, here's the thing. Is I actually explained this because I saw this thing in chat, too, and I, I responded to them there. But the question is, like, what if there is a PTR like the Division has or a PTR like WoW has? And it's a double-edged sword. On one hand, your stuff comes out ideally better and less broken. On the other hand, there's no spo – like, it's spoiled. Everything is spoiled mm -hmm. ever. Yeah. Like, in WoW, World First is irrelevant because strats are already beaten and figured out for Mythics before they even mm -hmm. hit the main server. Yeah. So, like, it'd be such, a, like, a, a downer, like, having the release of, let's say – Cabal Raid comes out, and it's like, great, all right, guys, first boss. Uh, it is a general who uh, has two Warhammers. You got to disarm him, and then you got to hit him. And then, like, it's I'm all writing like this, it's I'm writing this down. Two <laughs> like, it, it removes a lot of like the mysticism, and like, it pulls back the curtain a bit too much, in my opinion. Though, mm -hmm. the, the other person who the person I was conversing with in chat, they mentioned how a PTR for maybe exclusively. Uh, sandbox stuff, yeah. Sandbox like, stuff would be great. Yeah. Might might that be would, really good, be and I and I could agree with that. But the problem is, is uh, ex how much would that cost? It yeah. might be a problem of expensive because PTR on console, fucking expensive. Mm -hmm. Yeah, really expensive. Yes. But if so, there's a PC version with Destiny Two, then <laughs> and they just do it for that PC. sandbox would be completely different because KBM. Yeah. Yep. It would be different, but at the same time, there could be some fundamentals that they could like as a, as a side. As a I side would thing. <laughs> Well, I mean, As a side if, thing, if a perk is broken, they could discover that in PTR. You know? it, well, well, yeah, but it, if a, I mean, okay, done. like bugs, but even then, I imagine the builds are different, so I don't yeah. think that they yeah, bug there's some bugs. There's some bugs that only 
there are some bugs that only exist on PS4. There's some bugs that only exist on Xbox, like transverse steps. Yeah. If uh, it was like something where it's like this, example. this activity is giving 10 million glimmer. We don't know why. Yeah, that'd be <laughs> that'd be yeah. something you want out. Um, I, I I don't think the game will be on PC. Uh, and I've given it a little bit more thought, and it's mainly due to how Bungie Your love for sandbox. No, no, it's it's sandbox <laughs> updates. Like. Look at how slow their sandbox updates have been consistently throughout Destiny, even when they're only doing it for here's, two consoles. Here's the and thing. Then, uh, there's, they, look, their bread and butter, as they have stated, the bread and butter of this game is the aim assist on the console. I don't think they're going to have time to actually balance a sandbox with their bread and butter completely gone. Here, here's the thing. This engine is old 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 and bad and has lots of problems ideally and what we're expecting is destiny 2 is going to have a new engine that's going to rework a lot of these problems so they can actually do updates in a timely fashion and produce content at a faster pace because they've talked about this significantly about how it's very difficult with the current engine so moving forward into destiny 2 it's going to be historically different because of all these new things that are ideally in place and also dropping last gen because technically they had four consoles that they had to mess with so mm -hmm. dropping that that problem and having a new infrastructure that's also more PC like, you know, because it's going to be architected with that in mind. That's why I think they are going to move forward with that. And that's why I think those things are most likely going to become a thing of the past. I, I will always be disagreeing with it until, until I see it, but I, I, I just don't, I don't see it with the way that they update the sandbox. I yeah. hope there's a PC version. I'd like to see a PC version that runs at, you know, whatever my hardware and resolution is whatever my hardware frame rate is whatever my hardware is instead of being locked into a console resolution and frame rate lock I, I, it's I really frustrating to play is... destiny at 30 frames per second yeah <laughs> i suppose my biggest <laughs> issue with it is that bungie doesn't have much experience with the pc from the development mm -hmm. stand side I you know, uh, hey, no, mm, you're not wrong but halo one was not like when it came to pc it wasn't them it's i'm it pretty gearbox. sure it was your box it was yeah. which is a whole different funny story about how they made Borderlands. Mm -hmm. uh, but, you know, it's something that I guess, I don't think that's admitting that they can't do it, but it's admitting that maybe they don't feel like they have the resource to handle it in-house. And if they give it to somebody else, the concern I have is... The difference between how console is that gonna... and PC at that point was a lot different. Mm -hmm. though. Now It was very different between Xbox Halo 1 on PC and, and Halo 1 on pretty much PC. Their PC, PC architecture, exactly. Yeah, yeah. That makes yeah, a big difference. Sure. It does. It, it and you're right. It's a very much a very long. I mean, marathon. It's kind of hard to compare. I'm talking about first person shooters. Uh, yeah, person long time. chat. Mm -hmm. Like it's, it's the, the, which is the, with the same point. Like is Halo One? Is that even comparison to like what they have now? Is, I don't know. But that's just like that's just the thought. That's the thought process and history I think of when I think of Destiny on PC. Fingers crossed. If it's great, cool. I'd love to see more awesome folks stream. I'd love to see more awesome folks play. You know. The, the 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 one thing I will reaffirm, and it's something I think some people forget, is that it will be sad for folks if you lose your friends if they go to a different console than you, especially if it's PC. There's nothing I could ever say that would make that sting less, because that happened to me with a couple games when I was growing up. You know, people mm -hmm. would go to a different console and you lose those friends. Um, but minus that, I would say I see nothing but positives from expanding the Destiny universe to multiple consoles. You know, Destiny on the Switch. I don't think, I think really honestly, no? the, the more platforms, <laughs> like the more people that would be is a bad thing. I think people will always have their preference thing. I think people will always have their preference of where they want to play, no matter if it comes out on PC or not. So mm -hmm. I, I don't I don't really mind if it comes out or not. If it's good, fantastic. That's great. More people will play it. That makes the community bigger. It makes the directory bigger. That's great. If not, then you know, we'll continue continue on our journey. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We'll be good. The ultimate dream. If you're gonna make if it doesn't come out with PC, though, it's going to make the decision between an Xbox Scorpio and a PS4 very interesting. Right? That's true. Uh, the <laughs> ultimate dream, though, is that PvE content, at least on PC and Xbox, becomes cross-play. That would be amazing. Oh, that would be so good. Yeah. That would be so good. Not PvP, obviously. PvP needs to stay separate. But, <laughs> yeah. But yes. PvE content, it would be so great to be like, yeah, let's raid and so-and-so from PC and so-and-so from Xbox. That'd be nice. Uh, Matt Moe says, how do you like your bacon, and who is the best Avenger? <laughs> so, two very... <laughs> oh. <laughs> I feel like they're related at heart. 
<laughs> Somewhere down the line, they're related. You take bacon, you put it on a cookie sheet, and you put it in the oven at 375 degrees until it's crispy. You're good. I like crispy I bacon, like bacon as well as Patrick. Crispy bacon and uh, an Incredible Hulk. Mm. I'm going to just repeat what Pope said, except not repeat it. Just I'm just going to say I repeat what Pope said. I'm going to say crispy bacon and Iron Man. The same medium rare bacon and uh, Incredible Hulk as well. Damn. Fake bacon and <laughs> fake um, bacon, fake, fake bacon? bacon. It's literally what it's called. It's called fake and bacon. Mm. bacon it's really bacon. good, really good. Um, I'll go with Iron Man too. Iron Man is super cool. I like Iron Man. Uh, Mr. Bojo says on rap one rapid fire tip from each of you for a new Twitch streamer. <sighs> Are we all going to say fire. consistency? <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. There was mine. Uh, care care about audio. Have, have good audio. Audio is good. Uh, no matter what your viewer count, your, the people that are there day in day is what truly matters because those people are there to show up and support you no matter, no matter what. So always, you know, never, never feel down if you like had a low day versus previous day being up or something like that. Mm -hmm. It's the core people that, that matter. Go watch streaming one-on-one. <laughs> yeah. It's a great. Podcast. I, it's a I have one. put, I have put many hours into a podcast on that subject to where like, we don't get paid for it. It's not like, as much of a shameless plug, but like, that's just where I direct people for that kind of question. It's many, many hours of content. <laughs> but we cover basically everything. Um, and yeah, that's what I recommend. <laughs> it's a simple answer for me at this point. Uh, Mr. Panda Pool said, would you like to decide your ghost voice and personality, like Sassy Girl or Britt Butler and so on? Oh, my God. I would love a Sassy Girl with a Sassy Snap. Oh, fantastic. And if she could narrate Crucible for me as well instead of Shax so she can get all sassy when you kill people or when people teabag you, she could get all sassy. <laughs> That would make me very happy. <laughs> Sounds awesome. I think, I think Watt's got this one. I'd... <laughs> sure. <laughs> I mean, sure. <laughs> Call of Duty did it with, uh, you know. The announcers? Snoop Dogg. And they did. Yeah. Those kind of I things. bought that Snoop Dogg. I pack. did, too. I so did I. <laughs> oh, I don't so regret I. it. <laughs> no. It, no, it was awesome. I don't awesome regret that at all. Yeah. I think it would be an amazing idea. Uh, Skinny says, do you think the Mega Bloks leak was done on purpose to distract us from Destiny 2 not being released until 2018? No. No. <laughs> no. No. Whoa. Because <laughs> here, here's, here's, here's the biggest thing with that statement. You're assuming it's going to release 2018. Like, right. It's okay. already a giant leap of logic right there. Uh, Sebastian Gutierrez says, do you think Bungie made a New Year's resolution to be better with news, and are they following through? He says, I think they are. I don't think they were bad with news. I think they've gotten better. They've always been better. Year over year. I don't know. I, I, I love the suspense. I'm kind of in between their needing to give us a, a roadmap more I more information but then also allowing me to have suspense and speculate about what's to come and excitement of like what's inside that christmas package mm -hmm. so i think they're in a they're at a good balance right now i like the way deej does the news too i like the way he does the the twab like it's fun to read even if there's not a lot in there what i don't like is when we come to periods where we have no idea if anything's coming at all like, if, are we just going to be waiting for Destiny 2 at this point? Like, mm -hmm. before we knew about the spring update, we are just kind of in this limbo zone. I don't like being in that limbo zone. Yeah. I think that's how I feel too, Briar. I feel like the limbo zone is what they need to make sure they don't go back to in Destiny 2 and stay away from because it, it makes the community salty. It does. It does. Mm-hmm. Fernando Martinez says, do you guys think the next Destiny title could see slower overall PvP gameplay like Halo before Halo 5? No. <laughs> yeah. I honestly don't think much about the, the gunplay and like how the Crucible kind of plays out will change too heavily. 
I think we'll get like I think we're gonna get some new subclasses and stuff like that. Obviously, new kind of guns, but I don't think it's gonna be like a total different thing. Yeah, it, it would take it would take like them just going, "Hey, sniper rifles are now fusion rifles," like for an update to get really crazy. I heard that cat too. That was nice. Okay. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> we wanted to weigh in. He doesn't, when the doors close, he doesn't understand that there's two doors into the office. It's fine. <laughs> Eric says if Destiny 2 silos PvP and PvE weapons to their game type for balancing pur- purposes, thoughts on PvE only dropping PvP weapons and vice versa? So if you play PvP, you'd only get PvE drops. And if you play PvE, you'd only get PvP drops. Fuck that. That's what I say. <laughs> very sad. Yeah, weird, it makes sense. Weird. Yep. Nope. Weird. So you'd force I would, I would, players I would to agree. play the thing they don't want to play to get yeah. the stuff for the game mode they'd want to play. Well, that That's, was the issue when sense. the game first came out, right? And then they started yeah. adding more ways idea. where you can play the way you want to play to get what you want. So, yeah. yeah. We'd be going back to, like, what the changes they made. Hayden McChrystal says, if Destiny 2 offered PC support, would which of you guys would make the jump knowing you'd leave your main? Uh, Tefty will make the jump. I play all of them. I would make the jump too. Yeah. <laughs> I play all of them just because I, 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 I already play both it. consoles. You know, so because I produce YouTube content too, and it would look so much better on PC. Like it would be almost a no-brainer just to have better content on YouTube. There is there is some there's some people out there that don't like watching PC stuff though. If they're like a console person, they don't mm-hmm. like the way the camera moves. They like it to they like to True. get their information from the source that they play on Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so it depends for me i'm ps4 would be my main i think i would also play it on pc just because i think you'd be getting like a different experience to just ps4 xbox so yeah ps4 would be the main and then i'd also play pc i'm pretty heavily invested in ps4 right now i have got one (laughs) in each bedroom for (laughs) when my son wife and i play so for me to buy three computers or it's just not possible and so yeah. i'm i would play ps4 uh goat jvtj says thoughts on mega blocks cabal leak being an expansion for destiny 1 leading into destiny 2 instead of a story detail for destiny 2 i think you're expecting mm-hmm. a very big spring update friend that would be a <laughs> yes. very large time <laughs> update <laughs> that's, that's one, one. Of those, though. It's one yeah, juicy update coming in spring. Man. <laughs> the live team's been uh, quite a... Very, very been busy. At work. <laughs> They've been busy. Uh, uh, Vincent yeah. Laporto says, Would you like to see the last month of Destiny all weapons brought back to year one, day one stats? That would be, be, no. be hilarious. They're like, here's a Thorn, here's a Thuros, here's a Fight of Ran. Everybody well, go. Well, day one Thorn had like six bullets in the mouth. That's true. Okay, day one Thorn wasn't good. It, oh, you only need two. so confused. Yeah, that's shots. true. You only need two. <laughs> I would just, just log in and be like, the f- what the fuck? I'd just be confused. You think about all the things you deleted. <laughs> <laughs> I'd, I'd be. I'd, That'd probably I'd, happen. Yeah. I'd, 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 be, I'd, I'd be a little sad. Yeah. But then I'd have something to do. That's true. Be the happy thing. High Roller says, why does everyone think destroying the tower destroys the vaults? We've got two more in other social spaces. Indeed, that's what I'm saying. But maybe it's not like the main vault, you know? Maybe that's yeah, not your actual terminals. vault. those are They're not the vault. They're terminals. Yeah. Yeah, Sans see, the, vault is the, in the tower, tower the tower's like your bank, and then like uh, uh, Felwinter Peak and the Reef are like ATMs. Yeah. There yeah. you go. Perfect. Maybe my maybe no, my like, ship is actually the bank and everything else is like an ATM. Maybe you're a bank. <laughs> yeah, of knowledge. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Shit, that was a compliment. <laughs> Bad at this. Bad at this. Kid Bandit says, when will Xbox get more love? Hate that I miss all big community events, tournaments, and exclusive content because I'm on Xbox. Mm. I hate that too, Kid Bandit. I hate it that too. Really I think we yeah. all do. Nobody likes that. I did. I did my bungee bounty on both. Everybody yelled both, at me both times. I think, I think most people that have been trying to, there that can plan both have been doing bungee bounties on both. Uh, it's just, yeah. you know, it's difficult. 
for people me, don't feel like it's enough, and I can understand that. It's just I wish they wouldn't take it on the rest of us who are really yeah. actively trying to support both. Yeah, it's hard for me to just maintain all those characters. Mm-hmm. You know, I, yeah, if, that too. In Destiny Two, I might take a more measured ex- approach instead of having three characters on every platform. Just like start one character on PS4, start one character on Xbox. And if we do get PC, maybe start another character on PC. That way I can play with everybody, but I'm not trying to maintain, you know, three characters on each one because mm-hmm. that just got crazy to me. Yeah, and, yeah, uh, Chill Magician out. says, would you pay $15 subscription fee every month for constant patches and consistent new content? It's not going to work. No. It, <laughs> but that I, model that wasn't work. the question, though. That wasn't the question. <laughs> the question was, would you pay for that $15 a month for that? Would I pay I would. I just, I agree with... With Watts, I just don't think else. I personally would, but it I would be. too. But yeah, it's not happening. But I would pay for it <laughs> <laughs> happily. <Yeah. laughs> I would say it'd be a lot bigger, but better. <laughs> I say, I say, I say. Uh, I'd say boy. it'd be a lot better chance if like XBL and PSN weren't a thing that people had to pay for. Like it maybe it'd be a better chance, but yeah. Yeah. they're already paying for one service to play. You know. I pay seven dollars and seventy seven cents a month to get frequent updates to the game. I would I would also pay for the memes. I too would pay for memes. <laughs> I, bet, I mean, we I could better all pay a dollar memes. and they'd get some extra super. Yeah. And, super and they better money. give me like a thousand silver every time. <laughs> too. You get one yeah. free emote every month. Boom! There you Fifteen go. Fifteen a month, not fifty. People who might have misheard <laughs> fifty. I don't think there's many. I don't I think there's any crazy. games I'd pay fifty bucks a month for unless it was like the game to end all games that right. I will only play for the rest of if my life. It was life. like a holodeck, like, maybe. <laughs> holodeck, no, no, holodeck. <laughs> That's a good point. I would, I would subscribe to a bucks a month for the holodeck. <laughs> definitely. That's Briar, fair. I wouldn't need PS4 I wouldn't need to do anything anymore. What platform you on? Holodeck. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Get the Windows XP version though. <laughs> Fucking sucks. <laughs> oh, goodness. Brandon Mulbrunner says, "Do you think Destiny Two will be rated T or M? I think M opens up story options that T hinders." That's I a think. Really good question. I honestly think they'll go T because I don't know if you remember back during the alpha, blood was actually red, like mm-hmm. they had red blood, and then they switched it to black ink or mm-hmm. whatever so that they could do teen. So I think that what they're trying to do, at least on the Activision side, most likely, is they're trying to sell it to as many people as possible. It would definitely open up um, some gory interactions, which would be super fun. Maybe we could get Cade. He could get a potty mouth, which would be fantastic. <laughs> but I think that I think they're going to stick with teen, honestly. Yeah, I I, yeah. Oh, it, I agree. Mature is compl- <laughs> there's there's nothing you could do with mature in this world and the setting that they've already built. Like there's, there's just this this isn't trying to be Gears of War. There's no need for yeah. it. We're not we're not trying to bang all. I mean, well, some people are. We're not trying to bang a bunch of people in the tower. You know, there's not a bunch of relationship things going on there. There's yeah. There's there's, there's no sense no sense for it. It's the it's the great point of like they did like they did in fact change the blood and like now it's mm-hmm. established that like they bleed darkness or whatever it is that they bleed whatever each race does you know Vex have the they have the the milk stomachs and whatever the heck and <laughs> fallen you know ether, cabal yeah have. so like at I think they've yeah. kind of written it out so at that point you're just kind of left with like M rated themes but for the most part like I don't know what they could do because like. I, I don't think they'd touch those themes. They just wouldn't fit for the themes of Destiny as a whole. Yeah. You know? That's how I feel, too. They, they would actually feel inappropriate for the game. Not in the sense of, like, it deserving an M title being like, why the fuck is this here? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Kind of situation. Yep. And they went pretty far, as far as I'm concerned, in the uh, Rise of Iron, too, with, like, the, the bodies in, like, the final missions hanging from the ceiling. Like, that's... I thought that was pretty... Pretty graphic, as far as I really need him to go. As dark as mm-hmm. dark as it's needing to get. Yeah, it's fucked up. I mean, you mm-hmm. could stab people with your Monte Carlo, and it'll be it'll be great. And that would be worth an M rating. Okay, you convinced me. Slam <laughs> open in trials. Be like, wow, what's your ghost going to do now? Uh, Evan Powers says Nutella and jelly sandwiches, intriguing and perhaps delightful. Alternative to peanut butter and jelly or unholy abomination. 
Uh, and, you know, I'm not I'm not going to knock anything till I try it, but Nutella yeah. and jelly sounds uh sounds, sounds like, like chocolate on, and jelly. Ugh. Yeah, it sounds like on a, <laughs> the end of unholy abomination. It's closer <laughs> towards that end of the spectrum. I yeah. just want to put my opinion in here. Anything with Nutella is delicious. <laughs> Steak? No thanks. Oh, put mm. Nutella on anything. No. Like, give me Briar's stinky toes smothered in <laughs> Nutella, and I will lick those things clean. Can we make that happen at Guardian Con? Yeah, is this a Guardian Con <laughs> challenge? Of money? No, you cannot. <laughs> that is... All I'm saying is Nutella is just... Oh, I love this stuff. <laughs> I abstain from this question. <laughs> Why? <laughs> I, I can't eat Nutella or peanut butter, so my opinion's oh. moved. What? Oh, that sucks, man. Nut allergy. That's sad. <laughs> yeah. I mean, hey, whoever, I've never had it. Let me be sorry about it. I mean, whoever came up with, like, spreadable chocolate, I mean, just genius. Just <laughs> genius. <laughs> if it's you're up in the middle the of the night, you, you get up in the middle of the night, and, you you know, you go to the refrigerator, you take a big spoonful and just, oh. Up just Briar's toes and just go right, and just right in. Yeah. yeah. All yeah. right. Next question. Yeah. Go. Yeah. <laughs> Awesomeness says, "How do you guys feel about adding elemental shields to Destiny with exotic shields that do cool stuff?" Ooh. No thanks. Exotic shields, eh? Hmm. You I know, like... but actually, do you guys remember the uh, the images that were leaked quite a long time ago that were supposed to be Destiny Two, and it was like Titan holding a Captain America shield and fire. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. And there was yeah, like yeah, a yeah. hunter with a pole, and then there was a warlock, I guess, with a sword it's a, thing. It's a spear, not a pole. Spe it's a pole. Uh, it's a Nagi Nata if you want to be incredibly specific, <laughs> sir. <laughs> <laughs> I know so, my I, I know my weaponry. Okay. Maybe we'll get a uh, maybe we'll get some shields. You know, like if it's a cabal thing, you rip the rip the shield from the cabal and exotic shield. I, I, I thought the uh, person, I thought the person meant like. <laughs> over like over shield or something like that's that. No, those are, that's, 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 that's really really boring. Those are more boring. That's really boring. No, okay. they're not boring. Guess, no, if you, guess, if you played so if you played boring. Borderlands, over shields are incredible. Like <laughs> that was the, a shield type. Yeah, yeah. the the legendary uh, the legendary shields that are in Borderlands are incredible. Like the different variety and all that. It's, B shield. Yeah, no, B shield. B and conference call was broken as fuck for a very mm -hmm. long time. <laughs> for, yeah, until the, yeah the beginning. Uh, I think it's actually I interesting. Run that game so. I think it's really interesting to, know these to, to have that kind yeah. of concept of like a, a legendary shield type of modification. I don't want it to be pure stats, so it's like, hey, now you gotta have intellect and discipline on your shield legendary, just mm -hmm. like your ghost. I think that would be boring. But if it does do something interesting, like you like they said, elemental resistances, um, maybe some sort of life perk or bullet perk or stuff like that, like it, it could add an interesting element to it. I would also it work like in immune to shotguns when I'm holding it. Immune to shotguns, yeah. All shotgun bullets get reduced to one damage. Like, would you have to match up your weapon's damage in PvP to your enemies? I think PvP needs to be completely gutted from anything PvE related. Like, have all yeah. the wicked, awesome, exotic things be wickedly powerful in PvE, and then make PvP a very balanced sandbox that does not need to get just deflated from all this craziness from PvE, and vice versa. I don't want PvE deflated because we have to balance PvP. I'd love to see a class that has a melee type super that um, I know the, you know, the blade dancer and stuff like that, but like a, a shield that comes out like that, that you use similar to the, the Nexus mind strike, you know, or the like mm, Reinhardt. Relic, yeah. So you, <laughs> with getting kills, when you get your super, you can choose to shoot it like a Nova bomb or you can use to slash it. Sounds Dig very it. cool. Uh, what do you guys think? Three more? Yeah, we'll go. We'll go with three good. more. We're get, we're getting kind of lengthy here tonight. I lost That's my what... timer because OBS crashed. Oh, yeah. Don't worry, I've, I've been keeping track. Nice. Uh, Christopher says, "What is everybody's dream car? Mine is an Aston Martin Vantage. Love the podcast and entertaining content. Uh, mm -hmm. My dream car is a car that doesn't have a crack windshield, a working <laughs> turn signal." Um, you know, an engine that doesn't clank every time you take a turn, a, a dashboard that is not built entirely from duct tape, um, a shifter, <laughs> Aiming high. <laughs> a shifter that when you don't let place your it dreams reverse, be dreams, when you put your shifter in reverse, <laughs> it actually puts it in reverse and not neutral. Um, it sounds like a road hazard, yeah. man. It, yeah. 
It yeah. kind of is. I'm. I, I. I shouldn't be able to drive this car, but hey, yeah. Through the power of the South. Yeah, my, uh, my dream car <laughs> is. Uh, I've always <laughs> fantasized about having like a custom made uh, M3. Mm, M3s are very nice. I like. I used to like them in the early 2000s more than I like them now. But I, I know I'm stuck on it though. Like I don't like them as much now, but I still would love to just. Have one made for me. I'm not really much of a car guy, honestly. Like, I want something that works and doesn't need to be maintained constantly. It works. It's pretty. The yeah. inside's nice. <laughs> yeah. Go my ahead. previous car was actually my dream car. Yeah. Oh. The car I yeah the car I just got rid of was a Jeep Wrangler, and I loved it. It was nice. the car I wanted ever since I was a little kid. I finally oh. got one. Then Dude, I nice. got buried. <laughs> <laughs> Took an arrow to the knee, and I got a <laughs> sedan. <laughs> so I, uh, someday I, I hope to have another Wrangler. Like, <laughs> someday I hope to have another Wrangler. I would like a Honda Civic from the past like five years or so. You know, <laughs> you just say it. that like for, for just now get that oil change. You're good. Yeah, get the oil change. Cool. Yep. Good. I want a Tesla. Tesla. <laughs> oh nice. yeah, Tesla. That's Ryan I want Sotelo a car says, that I can't hear and be freaked out by it. Yeah, that'd be cool. <laughs> Ryan Satello says, would you like Destiny 2 to have more RPG elements and what kind? Examples. Yeah, yes. from like skill trees, class perks, smithing. Just, How about yes? Just yes. Yeah. <laughs> How about just, all just yes? That. Just like That's there's... a very broad <sighs> question. Just That's yes. like a yes. whole other podcast kind of it question. Is. It really is. <laughs> would, you, would you like this game to be more like Stuff that's game. cool. Yeah. yeah, would you like more game in this game? Yeah. That's, Do you want more exciting I, content I would, that lasts I would for love... long times? Yes. Who put Witcher <laughs> in my destiny? Who got <laughs> destiny in my Witcher? <laughs> I'll take it. Oh my I'll buy two copies. Thank you. Yeah. Um, more more RPG systems. Big yes from me. Absolutely. Yep. All I'm right. Gonna... Last one. Big Lou from New York says. Uh, go ahead, Tessie. I'm sorry. No, I, I was, was going to make go. a joke. Now we're good. <laughs> yeah. Big Lou from New York says, what's your favorite games to stream outside of Destiny? I love T-Rex streaming the Mass Effect trilogy. Uh, I, I've been really enjoying Resident Evil. I want to just, if I could just stream that forever, I'd be pretty I, happy about that. You tweeted out, I think it was this morning, right? That yeah. You don't, not only love streaming it, but you love watching other streamers I stream. do. I and can I watch it. Agree everyone with that. watch it. Yeah, I could, I could watch it everyone play it i could watch it yeah. a million times i just love watching that game i love streaming that game everyone's reaction is different everyone finds out stuff in a slightly different way it's just it's so good and the encounters are different for different people like yeah. depending on how they do it it's like some people like drive the car other people get run over by the car like all sorts of stuff happens it's a little bit different some people get their leg cut their off yep <laughs> I didn't know that. That was amazing. I didn't um, know that. That's a thing. Yeah. Oh. You get the leg cut off. I, 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 I've been enjoying. Yeah, streaming. if you suck, you get your leg cut off. It's great. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, I've been enjoying streaming Overwatch a uh, bunch. Uh, then on that uh, grind to get a play of the game with Anna. We'll see just how. Go, just go damage. Just don't heal anyone. That's what I've been trying to do. Oh. <laughs> and it doesn't and don't, matter. Don't ever use your, your ultimate. Because then you're gonna give someone else play of the game. So just just hold on to it. Yeah. Don't worry about it. Yep, yep. Uh, I've been I've been streaming all kinds of games, uh, from Dark Souls to you know Resident Evil, all that. I've been enjoying it quite a bit. One of one of the highlights for me though is starting a Planet city. Coaster. Planet coasters, yes, but this is along with that. <laughs> That's one of my favorite streams to watch is when Tefty shoots. Yes, Planet I know. Everyone's when they have like new ASMR, content, I when there's new yeah. new content, I'll stream it. <laughs> But the other simulation game, City Skylines, is a lot of fun. And I started the city and then uh, didn't really understand how the, the water works correctly. And so my sewage has been contaminating my water intake. And I've been progressively moving them apart more and more. And the poo just keeps on coming towards it because it's in the ocean. There's no downstream <laughs> river. So I, I blinked out. Is this happening been, in real life right now? It's been called it's been called Poo Beach, essentially, <laughs> is my city. <laughs> and I've been forever trying to fix Poo Beach. And I keep on getting like more problems. Like bigger city. I've got to put in a freeway. I've got to like fix 
the the fire <laughs> situation. I got a, all kinds of things happen. I've got like, I just I've got two million dollars now. Also, I've got tons of money, and money will not fix Pooh Beach. It's unbelievable. It's like real government. <laughs> I, I love the fact that like I just have this idea that like there is there is an easy like new game reset button that you're just like no, <laughs> this is gonna work out. Like it's just, you're like you're like committed. To I am, yeah, man. Yes, I love that idea. I, I bought another tile that's like way east, and I I put the water intake over there. So now there's no contamin like there's no um no contamination that's happening with the intake water now. But it's still a poo problem. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, if you can oh, donate to Teft to you know? fix his poo problem. Hashtag fix poo beach. <laughs> I don't need the money. I got two million bucks. I don't know how to fix it with money. It's amazing. <laughs> Lots okay, of so this, this is happening in a game. Yes, it's called not, Cities okay. Skylines. It's a PC okay. simulator. It's like SimCity, only like current gen, next level. Like you have, it's you can make gorgeous. districts. The yeah, gorgeous. it is good. It is yeah. okay. beautiful. It's a great game. Just making sure because the start there sounded like you had some real problems. You need to probably work out. It like simulates miss, miss a couple streams. Real government problems. It's pretty amazing. Oh, fantastic. <laughs> Did you answer the question? What's your favorite game to stream besides Destiny? Uh, I like playing lots of games. I don't know. I don't think I have a favorite. I have a favorite. I think I think the ones that feel the most fun to stream is like those really difficult games where you like you and chat kind of come together in a moment where you beat a boss and you're like, "That was three hours of our lives, chat. We did it together." Like that that moment's always a really good one. Or like puzzle struggle. things that you can like f you can figure out with chat oh, and everyone yes. and no one knows what's happening. They're just all giving their two cents. Yeah, Resident have Evil you, Seven you, was a lot of that for me. Yep. Have you have you played XCOM on stream? I haven't. Not Actually, stream, I did no. one okay. time back when it first released, and I've been wanting to stream it to name subs. Like I feel you know? like I feel like because you like the punishment of Dark Souls, you'll love the punishment <laughs> of XCOM. Because then, because then, because here's the here's the here's the biggest problem. You start naming people after your friends and after your family and, <laughs> and after your subs, die. and then they die, and you just want to cry because you killed them. It's your fault. It's your fault. <laughs> it's your fault. You did this. You did it. You the put great, them in the, the front line. The best part is when the game just just takes a, just a giant fist and just shoves it right up your butt, and just like it just doesn't stop. It's the worst. <laughs> what game is this? But oh. It's five percent chance to hit, and you're running away, and you're fine. Nope, it's gonna be a crit, and you're gonna die for some fucking dark, dark souls XCOM logic, and it's it's mm, get mad. Yeah, just get mad. It's brutal. Did anybody check out the For Honor beta last weekend? I did a little bit. Yep. I thought that was a pretty cool game. I it's got some real issues. The the fact that it's pe uh, peer to peer here is really concerning, but the game is fun. Like the actual act of fighting is very Fun. It's and really a lot of loot in that game too. What's that? Mm. It's really gratifying. All of the combat in it. Yeah, it it's cool. It's very cool. Like there's that the right stick is just your block, so you gotta like select which stance you have based on where your opponent's attack is attack is coming from, and then that's also the side you attack from. So you're constantly switching your stances up based on the combat that's going around. Sometimes you get two guys attacking you at the same time. It's a, it's a fun game. I'm looking forward mm -hmm. to that coming out. I'm too. I'm really pissed that it's peer to peer, but I can see that game being real fun to stream. Open beta on the ninth for anyone who is curious, including you guys. That's when it's out. Yep. yep. Or the not the game, but sorry. Open open <laughs> beta is on the ninth. Open, yeah, comes out on the fourteenth. Not the game. Yeah. Mm -hmm. that, oh, day of the so patch. If you want, if you oh, want to get a nice, oh good taste of it, that's a fantastic way. Yeah. I don't know. I like I like betas for games, especially if like multiplayer driven. I kind of want to see how they work before I drop money. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I would say being disappointed. Yeah. All right, I think we are basically at the end of the podcast. This is what the 18th, 19th, 18th, 18th, 18th episode <laughs> of Destiny Community Podcast. One of the feels like it's been so many more than that. It's weird. I know. It's like, yeah, God, it's, it's like we're over a hundred or something. <laughs> Man. Man. Anyway, thank you everyone for tuning in. Uh, T Rex, thank you for showing up today and talking about stuff, things. He's giving a thumbs up. He's not actually saying anything. For oh, that's a good point. This is on audio as well. Yeah, it's on audio. <laughs> I'm used. I'm used to always video production on Twitch. Moisey's the live environment. Yeah, no, it was great. I, 
I always get self-conscious because I don't want to talk too much. I just have a lot to say, and I feel like an asshole. But it's super great no. when guests yeah. talk a lot. Yeah, you know, exactly. The, pod, the podcast is largely about the guests when they're on, so yep. that's that's always great. I know. It's just it's criticism I seem to receive <laughs> when I'm guest starring on things by the Screw people. Screw those guys! They don't like anyone. Do they don't like right. any of us. They, they don't want to complain no matter what. You know? <laughs> From somebody that gets a lot of criticism for talking too much, I enjoyed you having you on. You were awesome. Yeah, I did too. Thank, Thank you too. Oh, yeah, it was great. I enjoyed the vision of you licking Briar's feet. <laughs> I'm out. Stretch goal. Stretch goal. Yeah. If we uh, let's do this. We get to a million dollars donated in the uh, in the, uh, the 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 yeah the can't the. The the Guardian, Guardian, Guardian on Con. stream. There we go. Sorry, I need more coffee. The Guardian country. If we get to a million dollars, Pope will lick Nutella off Briar's feet at Guardian Con. Uh, I honestly five. think they're going to hit a million dollars, and I do not agree to this. <laughs> <laughs> I don't agree to this. I do not want to underestimate uh, the power of this community because I'm already losing my beard. I don't want to lose my dignity as well. Oh, it's all right. I'll I lost enough guns that I don't even know if I have guns to replace to have for Guardian Con 2017 for streaming <laughs> purposes for deletion. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Thank you everyone for tuning in. If you want to find more of me, uh, my name's Patrick Casey or Holtzman or whatever. You can find me at Holtzman underscore YT on Twitter and talk about blue microphones or something there. It's great. <laughs> and dead cats. And dead cats. <laughs> I'm Briar Rabbit. You can find me on Twitter at the Briar Rabbit on YouTube on the Briar Rabbit channel or streaming on Twitch. Just look for Briar Rabbit. I'm Tefty Teft. You can talk to me at Teft on Twitter. Uh, catch the streams I do. Twitch.tv forward slash Tefty Teft. Yeah. And I'm Miss Five Thousand Watts. You can find me on Twitter, Twitch, and YouTube at Miss Five Thousand Watts. Mr. T Rex. Hi, I'm T Rex. You can find me at twittercom slash the T Rex because T Rex is an egg and it makes me upset. <laughs> uh, and then on Twitch, it's twitch.tv slash T Rex, T E A W R E X. I stream every single day. Um, doing it for four years. I'd love to see you. I play games as Destiny because I love video games and I love people. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> and this is I like uh, the shirt that you're wearing, person in chat. It's very nice. <laughs> oh, that's just <laughs> creepy. <laughs> and this has been uh, Pope Bear. You can find me um, on Twitter at Pope Bear and, of course, Lurkin in these guys' streams. And don't forget about the um, Kells Classic uh, Sparrow Race this Saturday. Um, check out Crucible Radios, uh, they may have a few spots available. There's some great lineup. Holtzman's going to be racing. I'm going to yep. be racing. Um, Cosmo's going to be racing. Uh, there's going to be a really fun time. And so come check it out. Go over to Crucible Radio and see what they got to offer. <laughs> All right. And thank you, everyone, for tuning in. We will see you same time next week. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Bye.